you? Why am I hearing this twice? Wait a second, something's going wrong here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my camera on in just a moment. Oh, why? Seriously, why am I hearing this twice? What? <sighs> Sorry. I'm hearing everything I'm saying. I'm going to have to refresh or something. Something's wrong here. Let's try this. All right, one second. Okay, it's getting straightened out right now. So, what am I doing? Settings, Bluetooth, connect. There we go. That's the problem. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? Um, before I get started, I want to dry off my glasses real quick, and then I'm going to turn the camera on. Um, input. Output. Let me adjust this. Audio. Okay, microphone. All right, cool. I'll set there. Um, okay, so before I get started, um, there's one thing I want to say real quick, and I'm going to ignore the chat for the time being while I say this because I just want to get it out there. Um, the the other night I did a stream with Cheshire about the uh, whole Katie Joy and um, Steve McRae situated, the whole restraining order and everything. Um, and I just, I get this feeling though, that maybe I didn't quite convey the seriousness of what transpired there. Wait a minute, one second. Okay, I had this live stream playing through one of my other computers. Um, and I feel like I owe Steve a bit of an apology because like for the last, I don't know, 45 minutes or so of this stream, it, it kind of it went off the subject and I didn't want that to happen. So am I still lagging? I mean, I should be okay now, I think. Um, but I just wanted to say that it's a big deal, I think, what he went through over this past year because, and, and before that, because she had labeled him someone who sexually harassed women and you can think whatever you want about steve mccray um i understand that he's not everyone's cup of, key, a cup of tea and um you know and i i can i get that but i think one thing he doesn't do is sexually harass women i'm just saying so i think what she did to him was kind of a big deal and i think that it's kind of screwed up and i wanted to just touch on that but more than anything she she got a restraining order against this man because she didn't want him talking about her on the internet. And then when she told her viewers about the restraining order, she tacked on the whole Violence Against Women's Act policy when it didn't apply, nor was it tacked on. I mean, I just find that to be extremely egregious. It, it's not only like defamatory towards Steve. I mean, that's, I mean I, that's a big deal and that should be acknowledged. But that's not even my issue with this. My issue with this was that she exploited policy because she didn't want someone talking about her online. And I think that is what is the big deal there. And I feel like this wasn't conveyed. I mean, I, I feel like I did say this and everything in the last stream, but I just feel like I need to con express on this just a little more because I'm not sure I did it justice last time. So I wanted to just say that real quick before we go any further. Um, I want to apologize to Steve for possibly kind of getting off track there and not expressing the seriousness of the matter that I feel I should have. And I wanted to do that now. So um, so there, there's that. I, I think I did. Um, so again, I'm sorry. And I, I think it's a really big deal that should not be ignored. Um, it should not be overlooked or forgotten or downplayed. Um, I just want to leave it at that. Um, right now, I'm going to turn on slow mode real quick before my moderators ask me to. And now, before I get started with the rest of the stream, I want to say one more thing. I have instructed my moderators 
to not time anyone out and to not ban anyone or in, and to not remove comments except for you know spam comments or stuff by spam bots you know obviously that that stuff goes and obviously any like racially offensive talk you know stuff like that any hate speech that goes but i have a pretty extensive list on my black words thing too so um i'm not too worried about that but i just want to say that so that but I did give them permission to say, listen, be nice, you know, or, hey, you know, you're being kind of a dick there. I did give them permission to do that. Um, and they've been gracious enough to agree to agree to the, the terms just for tonight's chat only. That's it. OK, um, because they don't have to. They can say, listen, this is too much. It's too difficult. I'm going to sit it out. And I wouldn't blame them. And in fact, I told them I get it if you do. But they've been they've been nice enough to to agree to this. So. I'm going to ask that everyone not give them a hard time and not be dicks to them because I want everyone to feel free to speak as they wish here um, for the most part. Um, and I don't want to remove anything. I don't want to, if, if you're going to be a dick, I want there to be a record of it basically. Um, so also if you're in this chat and you might find it difficult to be in this chat with such little policing going on, then you should take that into consideration. I think now ahead of time. So um, that's it for that um okay wait a minute let me wait what the hell okay let me turn the cam on okay so i don't like doing streams without a camera on without being able you know people see me and shit so especially when we're gonna be talking i'm gonna be talking about some shit that's you know i think kind of a big deal no you can spam with pineapple pizza that's okay sorry jc <laughs> so um i also i wanted to basically do the stream because i wanted to discuss a little bit about a stream from the other night and uh, here's what gets me because over the past few days especially like over i don't know four or five days here or so um i've been seeing a lot of comments and everything about how people owe somebody an apology and that's just crazy to me i'm sorry but that's I mean, if, if she did receive, you know, kind of rude and dickish emails from people here in the community, then yeah, maybe you should apologize to her. I'm just saying, I don't know, because I don't think that there's any excuse or justification for emails like that, no matter what. OK, um, you can disagree with someone, but like much like I did at the time, I disagreed with them. I also flourished them full of compliments throughout the whole disagreeing stream. Um, for some reason, though, just no one remembers that but that's it's okay it's cool um and i just disagreed with the stream that's it okay and as far as like i understand people are saying that she's owed this apology or whatever because she feels vindicated about something but to my knowledge at least from my point of view anyways the whole issue with the stream at the time wasn't the doubt that she felt in someone because from my knowledge she wasn't the only person to have these reservations. In fact, several other people agreed with the fact that she had these reservations, but disagreed with the live stream. And that was my whole point of view. And I even said as much in that live stream I did. Um, and I still I still believe this because I feel like then, or first of all, in the beginning of the month when the first live stream was done, it's risked it's screwing up um, a, a lawsuit going on. Then at the second and third live stream done at the end of the month, it still posed that risk. And now all these discussions about this shit going on, now it's it's potentially hindering a federal investigation, which I don't understand why it's so difficult for people to just stay the, the F out of it. Just leave it alone because it's an investigation. We don't know what's being investigated or why. We don't know the tactics being used. We don't know the the leads or anything going on so our ignorance in speaking about it could very well potentially screw it up it could it, it, in a million different ways it could I, I can't even fathom the ways that it could screw it up because there's just so much we don't know and that's by design um i get it though why people are are thinking certain things about the people involved and i don't blame you because i had my own thoughts just i don't know maybe let the professionals do their job that's my whole theory um, so it, this my whole really beef with this for the most part that, and I don't understand why Raken, myself and Dottie are wanting to be blamed so badly because 
on a stream that happened this weekend with, with little Miss Noble coming on and people asking her questions about our involvement or whatever. I don't even know where our involvement stemmed from, but I also especially don't know why people wanted our involvement to be a thing so badly because even after little Miss Noble said, no, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. No, they're not involved, whatever. They kept coming back with the same questions. Like, like here, let us get, let us set you up for a chance for another chance to give us the answer we want. That's what it sounded like to me. And I don't understand why, like, I, I don't understand why a it's so such a thing to for someone to figure out the blame right away or to assign it, let alone to the people in which they're trying to decide to to assign it to. I mean, why? Because Raken, okay, for argument's sake, I'll call it a dox, but because Raken docks someone back in February, it's that way people want her blamed. Um, do people want Dottie blamed because like last week she did an fu stream? Um, do people want me blamed because I dared to speak out against the middle-aged white women here? I mean, I don't get it because none of those reasons had to do with this lawsuit, with this investigation. So it seems kind of petty. I'm just saying and desperate. It does seem desperate. All right. I'm going to look at the chat now. I was one with those doubts. And I'm not apologizing for it. No, and you shouldn't. Going behind the scenes with fake screenshots and CPS re reports were in this case. I absolutely agree, Billy Martin. Absolutely. And I want to say this too, because whoever it is, whether it's Nat, whether it's Middle, Little Miss Noble, whoever, I don't care who it is. Whoever it is, though, who's doing this shit, they're not getting even with Katie. They're not settling the score. They're not accomplishing anything along that, that lines. The only thing they're doing is hurting anyone's bitch about Katie. They are, they're martyr. They're turning her into a martyr, basically. And if, you're, if your whole purpose is to expose Katie or to show people what Katie's really like or whatever, you're doing the exact opposite by what you're doing, okay? And you're you're kind of pissing out all the rest of us off too in, while you're at it. So I want to make that perfectly clear. Um, oh, I think Dottie was frustrated. I don't blame her. Exactly. You know, I don't blame her either. I really don't. I mean, I get how and why she she got that angry and how and why she wanted to do that stream. And even, you know, I guess she had a few drinks or whatever that I and how so I think that led to it. And I get her doing it in a sense, but I think it was a mistake for her to do it because right now, after she's done it, she's had a song made about her. She's now a running joke with some people. You know, it's just for that reason alone, I think it's a mistake because I don't know. I feel like she had a moment of weakness and she let it show and now everyone's jumping on it. And that I think was a mistake. So Stephen Gray went 100% right. Thank you. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I, I understand why Dottie did it and I'm not judging her. I mean, God knows what she said in this stream. I wanted to say probably, I, it, it, I don't even know, an umpteen amount of times. Okay. So I get that. I do. Um, just sometimes you, I just think you really shouldn't give people what they want. You know, that's that's my only thought on that whole thing. So oh, and while, while we're at it, um, I want to say one more thing, too. I want to address this whole thing with Red. Um, the whole passing out thing or whatever. Like, I don't think that there should be off limits for discussion because like it or not, she is a member of this community. And so if something's going on that could be serious with a member of this community, I think it should be discussed. Um, especially if it's an issue that someone else in this community could be ha having. And just having that discussion, I think, can go a long way. Um, I do not agree, though, with sharing images from that stream of hers or sharing clips or whatever. I think that's kind of low. All right. That's just my opinion. You don't have to agree, whatever. I don't care. But that's just my opinion. But I think that this is a discussion worth having. If, if people want to have it, I'm not pushing. If you don't want to have it, don't have it. I think that's important, too. But I don't think everyone should be told that they can't have it because I think the silence, I don't know if what the issue is with Red, and it could be nothing. It could be a medical issue. It could be it could be an addiction. I don't know. But if it is like medical or an addiction, then keeping quiet, quiet about it isn't going to do any favors. Um, that's all I'm saying. And if it is an issue with her, I, I care about her and I don't want to see her harmed. I don't want to see her hurt. I would, 
I would hope if there is an issue that she she does seek help. If there is an issue, then fuck me, I'm wrong. Okay, but if you're, I think I'm gonna say if, you, if you're showing or sharing clips or images, then I think it's a mistake. I do. I, I think it's wrong. But that's just my opinion. Who the hell am I? You know? Someone stole your spoon. I'm sorry. My short ass is jealous of the six foot two as well. Oh, God. The token agnostic says amen. How are you the token agnostic? I'm agnostic. Are you, so you're not token here. With Miss Noble, the question was to be sure she had no ties to the Reddit group. Aaron, I would think you would want to ensure that as well. Oh, yeah. No, I know. I get that. But they weren't talking about the Reddit group, Will. They weren't. Because they said repeatedly that they that there has been a group of myself, Reagan, Dottie, Nat, and I, I don't know if Little Miss Noble was in it or not, but the, the Reagan, myself, Dottie, and Nat were definitely in this group that, of which they were talking about. So that's not Reddit. Uh, that's whatever group that they are envisioning us in. I don't know, but I'm in no group with any, with, with them. I'm not. Um, I speak to Reagan on occasion. I speak to Dottie on occasion. Um, I have spoken to Nat a handful of times at most. Um, I think I've spoken to Little Miss Noble like twice since March, maybe. So I don't, so that's what I mean by a group or whatever. Um, and I agree. I, if, I think it is important to show that there are no ties to, to the Reddit group, um, if that's the case. Um, and I don't disagree with that. So, but I mean, there's also like 8,000 people in there. Is it, I think it's 8,000. Yeah, like 8,000 people in that Reddit group. So, I mean, even if all of us were in that Reddit group, that's hardly a group of just five people. I mean, this we would just be five out of eight something thousand. So, I mean, even that would be misleading, I think. Don't forget the Facebook group, which was never, 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 never a troll group nor a hate group. The group would make sure information was factual. Yeah, and the Facebook group has been down since January. So who is at in your dreams and where your evidence of your... Oh, wait. Who is at in your dreams? What are you talking about? Is there an, in your dreams here that somebody said something? I think I might have to slow this down a little bit because this shit's going too fast. Steve and Kim in the chat. Aaron, you're being used. Nobody's using me. I, nobody's even talking to me to use me. These are just all my own thoughts, nothing else. Um, Stephen, what, what chat? Because the questions that the questions she was asked that I heard were, was is Dottie involved? How was Rakin involved? How was Aaron involved? Did they, did they help Nat do this? They had to have helped Nat. Nat had to help help. And these people had to have helped that they were in a group. That's what I heard. I didn't hear anything about Stephen Kim. I'm just saying. Let me slow this down a little bit more. Wait, that's not right. I went 90. All right, if I need to put it any more in slow mode, let me know. All right, I'm going to jump to the end here and start there. I'm not asking this to be argumentative. I'm just generally, genuinely wondering why did you refer to K-Stream as desperate when the chat was asking her to ask that many I was referring to it as desperate and I said the stream, okay? I didn't say Kay alone was desperate, but Kay asked the question over and over again, okay? And this, the chat kept asking the question. Therefore, the stream was desperate. They seemed, they all seemed desperate to not only blame all this shit on someone, but to blame it on these people in, in particular. And that to me sounds desperate. That looks desperate. I mean, why? I have no desire to blame this on anyone. I want the people who are genuinely responsible to be exposed, nobody else. I'm not hoping it's someone else. I'm not going to push or push to get answers that I want out of this, okay? It's going to happen the way it's going to happen. And I don't understand anyone else want, having a different kind of vested interest in it. It, it just seems desperate. So, I know it just... All right. She's a hand for being born out. Well, that's great. I see John. That is great. I, I hope nothing more than that is the case. Seriously. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I, I have nothing against Little Red. I like Little Red and I want nothing but the best for her. I don't want to see her go through any bullshit. So, um, but the fact of the matter remains is that 
it is kind of alarming when someone does that. And and I don't think it was just exhaustion. I think maybe she she takes sleeping medication. I don't know. But I know myself, when I've taken sleeping medication and I've been really exhausted or whatever, I've done some squirrely shit. I'll be honest, okay? Um, I'm, I still hear about it, honestly. And it was like 10 years ago when I did that shit, okay? Um, nobody needs to know what they were doing. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that that is most likely along the lines what it was. I mean, and that anyone who's taken sleeping medication is going to experience that to my I don't know, in my opinion, I don't, to my knowledge. So yeah, there's that. I hope you heard me say, I didn't think you were, I didn't think you three were in cahoots with that. Oh, Carly Hannah, I'll be honest with you. I didn't pay attention to who said what, except for a few people, the usual suspects, I'll say, who were asking the questions. That's anyone beyond that. I mean, I didn't really pay attention to the chat. It's just hearing that people ask over and over, you know, repeatedly. It just was like, why? I don't get it. Why? So, oh, and I, I will say too, like the last few times I've seen Blue Red and on her live stream, she, you're right. She does look amazing. I mean, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if it's different makeup, whatever, but she does. She absolutely looks amazing. Hey, Sincere. Okay. And, and if I'm missing your questions, I'm sorry. I'm trying to just keep up with the chat here or whatever, but, um, um, I don't know. Just try it. Just tag me. And then I'll, I'll, as I go scroll back, I'll see you. Otherwise, I'm not going to pay attention too much. Okay. It has been so long. I don't even know so many names being discussed. French me some words. Kill me, please. Seriously, you want to be wrenched for this one, Steve? Okay. But Steve, just so you know, I, I went over it with, my, with mods. You can't time anyone out. You can't uh remove any comments or unless they're bots or trolls and you know you do you you know and then take care of it um i'm not saying that no one can be timed out i just want to be like have a say in the decision just for tonight okay so just keep that in mind you may not want the, the thing afterwards i don't know i woke up with pigtails and sore butt when i took <laughs> I guess the, the first time I did that, um, I guess I like I had a couple of friends stay stay with me because they were in between places to stay. And, um, I guess I tried paying the pizza guy through the dishwasher at like three a.m. <laughs> I guess I was like, "Where's the pizza guy?" He's like, I gotta give him money. Anyways, I told him the rules. So, if, but I I will I will take it away though if I have to if if you don't follow the rules, there, Steve. <laughs> We asked repeatedly because, see, it's, uh, we asked repeatedly because LMN kept dodging the question. You are twisting it for your narrative. No, I'm not. I am not at all. She did not dodge the question. She came right out and answered the question. No, no. But people kept coming back with it. I mean, I can play it. I mean, I don't really want to, but I can. Or at the very least, I can pull up the transcripts and read them, okay? Um, but, yeah, that's, that's not what happened. She did answer. And then people kept asking because they didn't just ask all three of us at, at, at the same time. They asked, you know, like one at a time. And then they came back again asking about all three of us. So, I mean, it was several times and she did answer. And she even said, I don't know what you what you're talking about. I mean, so. When you do talk about others on the Internet, you have to be prepared to be talked about yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my whole thing is. I don't care if people talk about me. In fact, I, I'll be honest, I kind of enjoy it when I'm the subject of other people's streams, whether it's for five minutes or for the whole thing. Um, what I am going to maybe respond to are things that are in a very easily proven inaccurate. That's all. And even that, I can't stop it. I will provide the correct information. Um, at the most, what I have done, and I, I did mention this on um, Real Entertainment News is community post earlier. I did send someone an email once a few weeks ago, like maybe a month ago now, um, asking them to just correct the information. And I provided the proof of how their information was incorrect because their incorrect information being up was contributing to much 
much bullshit I was getting at the time. So I was hoping that they would remove it. And even in that email, I told them, look, I'm not beyond asking you to do this. I'm not going to come at this any further. I, I don't want to. And there's nothing I can really do anyways. I get that, nor do I want to. I'm, I, but I am going to ask. I am hoping that you can correct this information. And my email was ignored. Nothing was corrected. So whatever. But yeah, that's as far as I'll go. And that's that has to be something that is not only inaccurate, but is easily proven to be inaccurate and, and causing me a bunch of bullshit. You know, it has to kind of meet all three, I think. Little Miss know it all sure seems to be causing a lot of problems. Um, yeah, a lot of people are. I, I, whoever's involved in this is causing a lot of problems. There's no doubt about that. Um, she's no doubt involved somehow. I'm, I don't know how or why necessarily, but you know, yeah, it is. It's causing a lot of problems and you know, it's causing problems for Katie. Yes. And it's, these are problems that she doesn't deserve. Okay. She doesn't. And I've said this all along. She does not, I, in my opinion, they do not deserve to have CPS called because like, I mean, we can all look at somebody's parenting and find issues with it or find things that we would do differently. It's not even like that. It's, I see no signs or evidence of them mistreating their child in any way. In fact, I see evidence of just the opposite of that. I have no doubt that they love their child and I have no doubt that their child is safe and loved in that home. So, and I've said that all along. I mean, I don't, I do, I don't agree with them being, with CPS being called. However, I don't know what people are seeing or thinking at the time in which they call. I'm hoping that the all every call has been from a genuine place, a sincere place. You know, if that's the case, then I would think that they did what they felt was right. Um, I would look at the situation probably differently because I have, you know, been watching watching Katie and shit for a while. I know I I'm almost like 100 percent positive. There's nothing bad, let alone criminal going on in that home as far as their son goes. So. So even if I seen something questionable like today, I, I wouldn't call because I'd be like, no, I, I've seen enough to know that this is out of context or something, you know, please check my chat quickly. Okay. Sorry. I got to pull it up. It'll just take a second. Cause I am on Firefox. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, Aaron, unfortunately, Ron, due to his hatred of bread, he posted a pic. Trigger wrong in my opinion. I hope he removed it. No, he will yell at him. Um, okay. I, yeah, if he posted a pic, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that. But again, he's his own person. That's his own channel. I can't tell him what to do. Okay. I mean, if he asks my opinion, I'll say I don't agree with it. You asked or you, you brought it up now and I'm going to say I don't agree with it. So, Anyone calling CPS needs to be charged for filing a false report, period. CPS is not someone's personal weapon. I do not think anyone called CPS with good intention. Oh, sure. I mean, I i don't argue that at all. I mean, I'd like to think they did, but what? I mean, I don't know what's, what was in anyone's mind at the time, so I can't say. Unless people have raised a special needs child like Vaughn, they need to shut their mouths. Do I think they're parents of the year? No, but I am not either. I, exactly. I mean, none of us are parents of the year, you know, and, and it's not about being parent of the year. I mean, there's a huge middle ground between parent of the year and requiring a CPS visit to your home, you know, um, and they're somewhere in the middle there. Um, and it, it's, I, I don't want to go as far as to say that there's different criteria involved when with a special needs kid, because abuse is abuse, you know, and I would even venture as far as to say that special needs kids might be abused more often than, than, you know, neuro neurotypical kids or whatever. I don't know, but that would make sense to me. Um, abuse is abuse and abuse should be called on, but I don't think that anyone has really seen abuse. So my biggest issue lately is people hear what they want to hear. You might say the color blue and by the end of the day, a small group of people have turned it into 50 shades of blue. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I mean, people are always going to hear what they want to hear, you know, or, or people are always going to hear they're going to take away from something they hear and apply their own perception to it. You know, everything's subjective. Um, so I hear you. However, when someone does that to the point, though, of like twisting the facts and, and using it 
to suit their own bias. That's yeah. I mean, you you gotta you gotta be more objective. Um, I saw something. Okay, Aaron. Yes, it was on his tab, and I know you do not approve of of it. What happened was sad for sure. I I like all of you, and it has been hard. I am a parent and a grandparent, and there is no perfect path. Okay, it was on his tab. I I believe you if it's up. I mean, it's easy enough to check. Um. And if it's, yeah, if he posts a picture, yeah, of course I don't agree with it, you know, um, but it's his channel, you know, he, he, he can do what he wants. And also too, just because I, I don't agree with something doesn't mean I'm suddenly going to start, you know, hating the guy. Okay. I can agree, disagree with something he does without hating the guy. Another issue is the subs get involved in creator fights and they should it now creators also should it involve their subs in the fights as well? The blame is shared equally. Um, it, I don't want to go as far as to say subs should or shouldn't do anything. Um, I don't know why they'd want to get involved in creator fights, to be honest. Um, and I definitely don't agree with creators involving the subs. Absolutely not. There should never, ever be any pressure to pick a side or anything or even holding subs to to a standard or or to anything or to any sense of loyalty or whatever. You know what? You, everyone, if you, whether you subscribe to me or not, whether you're just here watching or not, I don't care. Watch whoever you want to watch. Enjoy YouTube. Enjoy everyone you want to enjoy. I just thank you for being here whenever you are here. That's it. I'm, I'm not, I might ask, hey, if there, is there anyone interesting to watch? You know, I'm looking for new channels or whatever. But beyond that, I will never ask who it is you follow or watch or whatever. I, it's none of my business. You do you. It, I'm just thrilled at, at any time anyone is here watching me because I'm so amazed that anyone comes here to watch me, to be honest. So, all right, let me go back up here. Aaron, did you see my other comment above? Uh, I did not, but I will go looking for it. Did you tag me in it? Because the, ch the chat still seems to be going fast. Really? Oh, it's saying hi to Claire. Um... Crystal magic. If they were in a courtroom, the lawyers would say asked and answered because it is so redundant and it won't change the answer. Word. No, no. You can see they were pushing for answers to understand who else was helping and to what extent. If you want to want it to stop, just say it. Yes, I was involved. Or no, I wasn't easy. Well, no one asked me. So how can I give an answer if no one asked me? Um, no, I was not involved. Um, to my knowledge, no, Reagan wasn't involved. Neither was Dottie. No, neither was Tina. I don't know Nat, so I really, so I don't know what she was involved in, but it sounds like she was, whatever. But to my knowledge, I know I haven't been involved with Nat. I don't believe Reagan really has been, but I don't know for sure. Uh, same with Dottie. And Tina, I'm pretty certain, was involved. I'm just, and that's because Tina and I talk like every day, you know. Um, but I can pretty much, I'm, pretty confident that if anyone was involved with that, just like talking to her, the people I mentioned, I'm pretty confident that none of them were involved in helping her do any of the shit she was doing. So, because a lot of people had questions about it from the beginning. They just didn't do live streams about it. What the, what? We didn't get why Charlotte was doxxed for saying the truth. Y'all are evil. You all? Who, who's you all? You can't humble yourselves for even a second. You don't like that the shoe is on the other. What, what are you talking about? There's no shoe on any other foot here. I, what are you? Wow. Um, again, I'm going to say, I have, I, I disagree with Raken having shared the information about how she shared with so um i don't agree with that plain and simple um you can't humble yourself for even what do i need to humble myself for because everything i said then i still say today i still stand by it i i don't understand what am i i'm mean, what so and i'm sorry you think i'm evil whatever i'm not gonna lose any sleep over it and i'm sorry crystal i, I didn't see your comment um if you want to ask again and tag me in it Hey, Hood 3, thank you for tagging me. <laughs> Karen Bluebird, I want to say 
it was very ignorant for KJ to call you out and put you in the same group as these crazy people. I know you never did anything wrong. You only called out her BS. I support you. Well, thank you, Karen. Um, I also disagree with her calling me out, and especially because I'm not EKC Productions. I kind of feel bad for EKC Productions now because um, apparently there really is a channel. I did not know that. But um, and her. She keeps saying, she's saying how I keep sharing her report and how I walked into a police station to get it. And um, and I did it to share her report when none of that is true. Um, everyone, I, I've said, I've discussed this story, I, or my, my whole thing, the whole thing, a hundred times now. I'm not going to do it again. But if anyone wants to know, feel free to drop me an email or DM or whatever on Twitter if you are unfamiliar with the situation, and I will explain it all to you. Um, and I will set you up with links to, for you to go and see for yourself. Um, but yeah, that's not what happened. And I sure as hell did not fly from New York State to Minnesota in the middle of a pandemic to walk into a police station and get a report. So she need, really needs to get that out of her head because that's just that's easy enough to, to, to verify. So I... I filed a Freedom of Information Act request. That's it. Actually, man, hair and blue lipstick. <laughs> I like my blue lipstick. All right. Carly, did you ask a question again? I'm looking to see if you tag me. I didn't forget about you. And I don't see you. Uh, Sunday Night Live. You're one of the good ones, and you make me laugh so hard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um. I like to think, though, that everyone here, it, it, the whole community, I, it, it, I don't think it's so much as good or bad people. Just, you know, I just don't agree with everything. That's all. I'll leave it at that. EKC went real life with KJ twice and gave bullshit excuses. Why? When was it twice? Like, for real? Are you talking about when I sent one email to a business that was not reporting death threats against someone? That's real life? Because... I don't know, man. If those death threats were real, and I'm assuming they were, but I mean, I, I now have my doubts. But at the time, I didn't have that many doubts. So if they were real, and if they went somewhere, if they ended up going somewhere leading to something, then I think it would have been shitty of people to not have taken it seriously ahead of time. That was my thinking. So yeah, okay, I, if you want to call that going real life, real life caring about someone, sure, okay. That's what I did. Um, as far as the, the whole report thing, she lied about the officer. This was established, okay? I know people don't, maybe they don't realize this or they, they I don't know, but this was established. This was established when she filed a complaint against the officer after Red and I did our stream because she was big mad, okay? The department investigated the officer. They investigated her claims. They looked at the evidence, including the recording of the interview from 2007. And then they determined that her claims, her accusations were unfounded. That means they listened to the recording. That means she lied. That's, that's the whole point there. That was my whole point. Now, the officer can't really go online and defend himself and point this out. So the damage she did to him and his reputation online and possibly their community by ruining the trust there matters. So that's why I did what I did. You can disagree with it. I don't care. But don't act like I did it for any other reason. I thought the EKC that she thought due to Nat's mental illness, she wouldn't have done it. Am I confused around that? Um, please answer. Uh, what does Billy ask about my blue? I don't see it. Crystal Magic Book. KJ has has to make it more dramatic and salacious. Yeah, probably. Okay, I don't see Billy's. But I, you guys, I, the, there's a lot of people here in chat, and it's going, still going fast, even though it's on slow. I need you're going to have to tag me. I'm sorry. Um, I thought that she thought that due to Nat mental illness, illness, she wouldn't have done it. Am I confused? I don't know. I, I know nothing about Nat. Um. Like, I feel like everyone here, like, might even know more about Nat than I do. She she messes me quite a few times throughout the whole lawsuit thing going on. And I really didn't want to get, because the lawsuit was still going on, I didn't want to get involved. And then after the lawsuit ended, I, I let myself talk to her a couple of times, but still just a handful of times. I don't know her that well. Um, I'm assuming that her claims are mental 
on her mental illness are accurate or are truthful. I have no reason to think otherwise. I know nothing about her mental illness. Like it is DID. I don't know the first thing about it. I've said this all along too. Um, so I don't know. And that's the thing. I, I don't want to say too much because there is still a federal investigation going on, but anything's possible. She could be involved. She, and I wasn't, I wasn't saying otherwise, even back in February, I just didn't want to say anything because again, the lawsuit, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no, I don't know. I know. I think all of us are just like, is confused as fuck about what's going on and don't know what to think. So, and if Billy wants to ask again about blue lipstick or whatever, you don't see it. Mm. I meant that you wouldn't do a stream on her. Sorry, I didn't mean to be confusing about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, yeah, no, I'm not doing a stream on her. I won't. Like, th what I said about her is like the extent of what I'll say about her. So, hey, everyone just popping in to say hi. Hey, EKC. EKC, hope you are well. Hey, not another housewife. I hope you are well. I hope you're feeling well. <laughs> Get a bunch of sleep while you can. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, John, there's a flurry floating around. The EKC is wearing blue lipstick because she's mocking someone. Did I get there? I'm not mocking anyone. Really? Are you serious? You and Dottie do a lot out of concern. Maybe she, I'm not doing shit out of concern, so I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm not even really that concerned. Why do you care about what is up? Really? I never thought out of all things tonight that my blue lipstick would be the thing causing so much, you know, drama here. Please. And, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, I, I don't, I don't, let me go back and try to find her, their question. I'm sorry. I thought Billy was male all this time because it just looks like a different way to spell Billy. I feel like I'm missing something. Why blue? Um, because I like the blue lipstick. That's why the blue lipstick. Um, I wore it in a video. Um, my last entitlement video. Um, I've had it for a while. Actually, I got it for my daughter because they do this thing at Spirit Week for, for her high school and their colors are blue and white. So I I got it, a neighbor of mine started selling lip scents. So, and I got two colors. I got this real, this pink color I really like and I got this blue. Well, the pink is almost out. So, and I don't want to put regular lipstick on when I'm on stream because this shit always ends up on my teeth, no matter how hard I try not to. But the, the lip sense doesn't, it stays off my teeth completely. It's awesome. So, um, the pink is almost empty. I need to order more, but so yeah, that's pretty much why the blue and then I kind of like it. I, I've always liked weird colors for my hair, for my lipstick, whatever. I'm kind of a freak, I guess. That's why it's not anything, any digs or anything. There's no like secret meaning behind it. So yeah, we all know the blue lipstick is your gem cosplay. Cos cosplaying. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I'd totally be gem too. I would. Oh, God, <laughs> that would totally be who I would dress up as. Karma's enabler, that isn't her tag on here. You have to tag EAC for it to highlight. Yeah, you, exactly. Exactly what Nikki said. I remember the stream that you and Red did regarding the report. I was one of the people that saw the other side of the coin, so to speak. You weren't doubting her. It was the opposite. Exactly. And and still, to this day, I'm going to say the same shit. Um. <laughs> I'm going to say the same shit, okay? I don't doubt her report. I don't doubt that what she's she claimed happened happened. I, I don't doubt it. I'm not questioning that or anything. My only concern was the shit she started saying about 13 years later. The stuff she was saying about the officer. That's it. That's my own the only thing I doubted. That was my only concern. That was the only truth I was after. So Yeah. I love the blue. It reminds me of when I was in high school. Super fun. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you can see people used to freak out when women took their bras off blue lipstick. You read them. <laughs> yeah. I won't go on stream till without a bra. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe if I was still in high school. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We've all had to cover our, mouth, our mouths for the past year and a half. Let your funky color shine. Thank you. Have you asked C if she wants you to go into everyone's stream and bring hate down on other people? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that's true too. 
Well, I mean, I wonder what the answer is. I'm, I know you're not accusing, so I don't want to say true, but I wonder what the answer is there. What? Who's talking about thumbnails? No one has any right to tell another how to make their thumbnails. Why are you being so petty? I'll take advice if anyone wants to give me advice on thumbnails because I suck at it. I hate doing them, though. I really hate doing them. <laughs> I'm glad you found that funny unveiling the masks. <laughs> Aaron, I'm not doing shit out of concern. I'm really not concerned. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, like, I feel like I feel like back when in February when people got upset about the live stream and everything, I feel like a lot of people were upset because of the whole men mental illness aspect. And I kind of feel ashamed that that just that wasn't my concern. It definitely wasn't my main concern. Um, it was the lawsuit, just letting the professionals handle it. That was my whole thing. But um, yeah, I kind of kind of feel like I might have been a shitty person there for not making that a concern or I don't know, whatever. I love the blue color. I wear blue, black, purple, and what makes me happy. Thank you, witchy woman. Me too. I know a guy named Kyle who makes thumbnails for me. have some free time. Uh, that's funny. See, I don't know if they'll let him do it, though. In jail. Okay. That was about another creator in chat. Not your thumbnail. Okay, Nikki. Thank you. My bad. Please block if anyone's giving you... Yeah, exactly. If someone's giving you a hard time tonight in chat, just block them. You know, you can always unblock them if you want or whatever. But I don't want to block anyone in the chat tonight because, like I said, if there's going to be people saying some, you know, shitty or asshole things, I want there to be a record of it. Sorry, my bad. Um, but I also want people to be free, to feel free to speak freely. So... Really, Claire? You want to help me with thumbnails? Oh, my God. Dude, I, I swear to God, I might even pay you if you do it. <laughs> I'm, that's how much I hate doing them. You can see he's trying to match her lip gloss to her glasses. She's a little neurotic like that. Matchy, matchy. Dude, it's rare if my socks match and I leave the house. <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, I almost laughed when the sock came out. Um, I went to work. It was, like, my third night at work ever at this job. <laughs> I have these black socks. They're like little like ankle length black socks and they're Nike. So I have like on the side, there's like a little like a one pair has a little yellow Nike symbol and one pair has pink, one pair is blue. You know what I mean? And I couldn't find matching pairs. So I wore, you know, one pink, and one yellow <laughs> and people at work noticed. <laughs> I was like, shit, but they were both black. So, I mean, there's that. Well, we are getting married, so why not? Yay! <laughs> yes, Claire and I are going to get married. Hey, Irish badass. Let me do something real quick. All right. Okay. Um, all right, where am I? Oh, I'm not saying that, Mrs. Cassandra. Nice try. <laughs> this is a Hanson free zone. <laughs> Actually, that might get, get you timed out, I'll be honest. No, I'm kidding. All right, thumbnail related. I just found out about a free program called GIMP. Alternative to Photoshop. Might be worth checking out. Well, people here um suggested Canva to me. And I got to say, it, it, that is a pretty cool app. Um, I just, I like to do them. I don't like to, if I spend more than like two minutes making making a thumbnail, I'm annoyed. And I know how to, if I have an idea of what I want to do or whatever, just throw something together quick. I know how to do it like Photoshop like, or Pixar, I mean, rather, really quick. I just don't know Canva yet. If, if I knew it, then maybe it would take me two minutes or less, but I just don't have the patience. Ms. Hudson, we need to get you blinged out. Get you a blinged out solo cup. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Irish Badass calls me Miss Hudson because she's she says I look like Kate Hudson. I think it's kind of cool. I'll be honest. <laughs> All 
Yes, Canva, exactly. Yep. Um, am I missing any here? I don't think so. All right, now that I feel caught up a little bit, I can look at comments that maybe don't have me tagged. Is there anything else I want to, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, there's one thing I wanted to mention, too. Um, like, you know, it's, it's, like, so freaking dry in this house because we got the air up so high because it's, like, 90 degrees outside right now. So, like, my mouth keeps drying up like crazy. Um, so... I was listening to one of Katie's lives. I finally listened to a few, a couple of them from the weekend. And I mean, I, I'm the, I, I'll try to be the first one to say when I think she's right about something or she has a point or whatever. Um, it just doesn't happen all that often. I don't think, but like I said it a while ago regarding the Duggars, like I did this was before Josh was arrested. Like, I think I said it just literally days before he was arrested, but I had said, you know, I think a lot of people get on her case about, you know, being obsessed or stalking about the Duggars or whatever. But I thought that what she was calling out regarding them was good. It was a good thing that she was doing. So, you know, I don't disagree with her on it. Um, that being said, and I will say the same thing if she does anything I agree with. And something she she talked about this weekend that I really I didn't really give much thought to because Honestly, I didn't think anyone would believe it when I first seen it. And that's as the stream that was done with the audio regarding that discussion about her, about Todd saying how he was in the room for 10 hours or whatever. When I first heard that audio, I, I thought it was kind of funny. I didn't think anyone would actually believe what, you know, was being said. I mean, I didn't think anyone would take it that far or whatever. Um, apparently I was wrong. So, and now seeing, I mean, seeing it so, I mean, and I don't doubt that, hearing the story and everything, hearing how Katie said that this was the cause for CPS, I don't doubt that that was the case. Um, I'm still kind of surprised it was, like, that, that anyone believed it, but I don't doubt it, you know, now hearing it. Um, so, and I'm not going to suggest that anyone should t do anything or take any content down or whatever. Or, I mean, that's, that's anyone's decision. Um, but I don't know. I feel for her there. That's all I want to say. You know, she, she might have a point there. Oh my God, thank you so much for the super chat, Crystal Clark. Just showing support. Thank you. Uh, sweet tea for Canva is acting like, <laughs> he's acting like it's so complicated. complicated. I'm trying to tease her and apparently failing. It is kind of complicated. But I mean, I know once you learn it, then it won't be, but it just, I don't have patience. Who's got time for that shit? I like the bartender. Is that another Hanson song? I don't want to say it. <laughs> See if I can ask Aaron EKC to take it off if you want. What am I taking off? I don't know if I want to take it off. I think I can ask the way I want to ask. Thank you for your concern, though. Okay. Why, did you ask something and I missed it? Oh, it doesn't look like you were just having a discussion with me. So, okay. Again, if you were, just tag me because I don't, you know, I may not see it. <laughs> How dare you? That is TV. Okay, my bad. My bad. Hi, Erin. Sorry I'm late. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you, Victoria. And I hope you are as well. I am having a good day. We just, we had a storm come through here and I had clothes out on the line and stuff and just, it could, I wasn't expecting it. It set me back a little bit, but that's all. Thank you, Kayla. Oh my gosh, people are so petty. Blue lipstick is yummy. Thank you. See, petty. <laughs> no one actually went to across the country to Minnesota or anything else. How could she, KJ, just be lying? Yeah, she is lying. I mean, I don't know if she's just wrong, or it's, but no one told her that that's what happened, because why would they? Sorry, another one. But do you believe Nat was guilty now due to all the evidence, et cetera? I mean, even LMN confirmed Nat did send KJ the email. 
she said that on Kay's life, I'm sure. Um, I never believed anything one way or the other about Nat as far as guilt goes. Um, I don't didn't know her. I still don't know her. So I'm not going to put any assumption or trust into someone I don't know. Um, the only thing, and I said this much back then, and I still say it t again today, the only thing I disagreed with was doing the live stream. I didn't disagree necessarily with with what anyone was with, with anyone's reservations, let's say. Um, and I even said so much in my live stream back then that I had my own reservations, but I wasn't discussing them on a live stream. That was my concern. And my concern for that was, and I said this back then, was there was an active lawsuit going on. And discussing matters like this could interfere with that lawsuit. And now discussing these matters is, it could very well possibly be interfering with a federal investigation. Again, that's my concern. Um, I understand why people have reservations. And even if I don't understand it, whatever, people can hit, think whatever they want. I don't care what people think. But again, what the only thing I disagreed with was doing the live stream. So, um, and, I mean, even Element confirmed that, that. And I'm not, to be honest with you, as far as who confirmed what, this shit just seems so messed up. It's hard for me to keep up with it, to be honest. Um, I don't doubt if people say they did something or they're involved. I don't doubt it. If people say they're not, I don't care, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I do hope whoever's responsible, though, gets exposed and gets found out, whoever that may be. Hey, Suzanne. I just seen you there. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't say hello to everyone when this started. Sorry. I just, I wanted to hurry up and get things out and get talking. And I didn't want to leave the chat, um, like, without me keeping an eye on it. Because I know I'm asking a lot of my moderators tonight. So, There, yeah, Victoria, there is no hidden meeting with the blue lipstick. I don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. <laughs> In Erin's defense, Erin and I have had long voice chats about everything, and she has said that she was uncertain of things and that she hadn't decided either way. In my opinion, people assumed what Erin thinks. It, you know, people assume what I'm thinking, what I think a lot of times. <laughs> and, and, I mean, I get making assumptions here and there, but... You can ask me anything you want. Anyone can ask me anything you want. I mean, if I if it's something I don't want to answer or whatever, I'll tell you. But for the most part, I'm I'll try and answer. It wouldn't interfere if people don't insert themselves. People talk all day long about trials and investigations going on. Example: Look at the W investigation. I think that's how we have to look at. Um, yep. Yeah, but you don't see this shit. This shit isn't happening with the Duggar trial. Um. So. Yeah, I think it can interfere, especially now with an investigation. I think it can interfere um, because a lot of people in this community here are involved in some way, knowing uh, unknowingly, you know, I think. But if they received emails, if they're talking to any of the people here that are, that are in question, then we're involved. So we're actively involving ourselves in an active federal investigation. None of this shit's happening in the Duggar case. So it's a lot different. Thank you so much for the super chat, Michelle G. You have always made yourself perfectly clear. People just don't want to hear it. Thank you. I try to make myself clear. And again, if, if I'm unclear, ask. Just admit that the blue lipstick is in tribute to your fabulous mods. Let's put the speculation to bed. I mean, it's not like you could just like it or anything. <laughs> it is fun. It is. Okay, yep, it's for my mask. I think many want to know why you hate Charlotte. I'm not asking for myself. I don't hate Charlotte. Um, I, I don't hate her. I just, I have opinions of her, which I'm not going to sit here and share. I mean, it's 
it, there's, it's not going to do any good if I do. There's no point to it. But I can have whatever opinions I want. You know, if I start talking them, sharing my opinion every chance I get, then I could see maybe people, you know, jumping on my shit a little bit. But I'm not doing that. So, um, but as far as what I've spoken out against regarding her, and it's, it's not even her, it, but it's her stream I spoke, I spoke out against back in February. Um, the whole stream this past weekend where little miss noble came on and everything for granted that wasn't her stream but again i she was in chats contributing in whatever way she wanted to there and i don't agree with that i don't agree with how that was being so desperately questioned whether or not we were involved um i don't agree with that there's no evidence stating otherwise there's nothing to suggest it, but it just seems like that's what people wanted to hear. And so they kept asking in hopes that they would get the answer they wanted. Um, that I don't agree with. And, and whether that was the case or not, I don't know, but that's definitely how it came across. I have the same blue and bright purple lip scents colors they make me feel fierce as well exactly they they do right every time i put it on yeah i kind of feel like a badass and i'm a middle-aged middle-class white woman i'm not really that much of a badass <laughs> thank you ekc people suck i love your content you are always there thank you amy austin oh let's talk about this gigantic gas bubble i have any ideas how to get it gone Asking for me, read my earlier comments. Blue balls blow the pie. That's BS. No small YouTube channel is going to interfere with a case. It's an excuse and a poor one of that, really. Because I seem to remember a few tweets by Salt saying, listen, you guys are interfering with the federal investigation here. Um, so yeah i'm gonna have to disagree there and i don't think the size of the youtube channel necessarily matters i mean i think a bigger channel would possibly hold more of a chance of screwing things up but in this case even a small channel just being involved could screw things up because again it's not just asking but it's also being involved so and that was the case from the beginning when i first expressed my um disagreement with anything because people were involved and by 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 talking about it by making assumptions by whatever they were posing a risk of kind of just having a negative impact so Oh, okay. Talking about dogs, I take it. Are you talking about dogs? Can can we try to stay on topic? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe you should try speaking to Miss Suzanne about the game. Oh, okay. What's going on there? I'm not that I'm necessarily going to get involved or anything. Just wondering. Oh, wait. It was asked a lot about the group, and even if you were Reagan, I just wanted it to be clear. I vocally disagreed. Hope we're good. Listen, Carly, even if you didn't vocally disagree, we'd still be good. Seriously, okay? Um, again, I'm just thrilled that you're here watching anytime you're here watching, okay? Um, I, there's, I have no ex expectations, okay? Um, you can question me. You can have opinions, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm not never going to hold it against you, okay? E even even the people who have been very active in any dispute or whatever between myself and another creator, I, I'm not going to hold it against them. I, I, okay, um, thank you. I appreciate it, but you're we're good. You're cool. All right, it's all good. Um, I think I think it's hilarious. So people ask me if I'm Reagan or ask if I'm Reagan. I I don't know. I just think that's hilarious. And the group, I, I again. Someone said earlier how the, 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 it was um, the Reddit group, but it wasn't. And it's weird, the group. 
I don't know where this group idea came from. I don't know. Looking for the T live. I don't know. Don't know Dexter. Oh, okay. I honestly don't care who you like or don't. Same goes with Little Red, Dottie, Charlotte, and many, many more. Not my beef. I'm here for fun. Exactly, Mrs. Cassandra. And you know, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, it, I don't look for anything you say ever, but just like if I am in a chat and I just happen to notice you there, I will say every every time I see you in your chat, that's that's you. That is you to a T. Whatever. It's it's not your issue, whatever. You're just there to have fun. And I, I admire that. I'm just going to say I admire that. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping make all of our chats fun. <laughs> you can see he's giving us fierce blue lip gloss for being hot. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Go pick up your brother. Awesome. Take a walk around your yard. I deal with gas all the time. I don't know what that means. All right, what I miss here. Ooh, what's going on there? You looking for the tea? Oh, okay. One thing I love about you is, is she understands that we don't have to agree on everything. We can come here and enjoy a fun night regardless. Exactly. And think of how much how boring it'd be if we all did agree. I mean, like, we would never evolve because we would be stuck in our own thinking it like our box brains or whatever you know it's the it's the the differing of opinions and viewpoints and concepts or whatever that's expand our thinking and not just us individually but i think us as a species so i mean why would you want the echo chambers i mean for granted this is youtube t drama i mean really we're not like you know changing the world here but still I don't think them asking about your all's involvement was a personal vendetta against you, Dottie Reagan. LMN was just answering super shady and acting a fool, in my opinion. I respect that that's your opinion. I do. Um, and thank you. Um, the, the reason why I just don't agree with that opinion is because she did answer. She answered like the question individually, like regarding each of us individually. And even then, I want to say that she was asked multiple times for each of us, but definitely towards the end there, she was still asked and then asked again and again. And it, it got to the point there where she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, it's just, it, like I said, excuse me, like I said, that could be not the way it was meant to come across, but that's, that's the way it came across. So, I mean, to me, and I know others, but I mean, who's right? I don't know, but. You know, I get it. I'm going to pretend like you were talking about me, even though you were talking about someone else. I make myself laugh, though. See, did it again. Oh, my God, I cracked myself up. Oh, <laughs> uh, have me looking like a tomato blushing. <laughs> well, Miss My Beavers, you know, you always make the chat fun. You do. You Kimberly Roddy, mom, she, she stands, I mean, you guys cracked me up. People that put out messages and video out on Twitter for Nat are involved and have involved themselves. You just got to ask yourself, would you do that for? Her? Okay. Here's the thing. Um, it, it, this has nothing to do with Nat when I, when I answer this. Okay. This is, this is just across the board. If someone's asking me to post shit for them, I'm probably not going to do it because why am I being, why, I mean, if it's like a good friend of mine, someone I know, and like their internet is down and they, you know, they call me up over the phone or something, you know, all right, then maybe, you know, but other than that, short of that, why, why, why can't they do it? Um, if anyone else posted for someone else, I mean, it's my understanding, little Miss Noble thought she was doing it for someone who she considered a friend. So maybe in her case, maybe she was doing it with some, for someone she trusts or whatever. I don't know. I don't know her. I don't really want to speculate. If anyone else posted for, I mean, I don't think everyone is, is as 
kind of suspicious as I am or whatever. I think maybe some people are a little more trusting and don't see a big deal or whatever. So they do it. Um, I don't know, but it doesn't mean that they were involved. Um, at least not knowingly involved. I mean, I don't think anyone, anyone that I know who posted, if they posted anything for, I don't think they did it because they were involved. Um, I think they just, they did it just maybe because they were a little foolish about it. I mean, I don't know. But um, yeah, so there's that. It, like I said, I wouldn't, it's not her. I, I wouldn't really do that for anyone. I mean, so. What is Coach La Cream saying? He has a valid point. What did AZ mean about couches? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, wait, who did you ask that about? Where'd I go? Coach at Coach La Cream. I have no idea what he's talking about couches. I have no idea what any of you're talking about couches. <laughs> Kind of like, where did you and Tina come up with they, and this is the narrative they want to keep going when you put up my comments? Well, because the the comments we were putting up that night were only comments from one stream. And it was the stream when JJ came on and we had our discussion. And the whole point of JJ, come, her like, JJ's whole concern about, it, about um, the shit with Ren, her, where she was coming from was um representative of what i guess survivors or victims um but yet the chat and people almost everyone commenting in chat i think police wife life was the only one who wasn't really wrapped so concerned about charlotte she police wife life was asking some of the questions that jj was asking but everyone else in chat was only asking about charlotte about screenshots about you know whatever about basically being against charlotte so that does sound like a narrative since the, the questions are not matching the stream. Just saying. That's what we meant. Now, maybe we're wrong and that wasn't the case. If that's the case, then I apologize. But that's kind of how it looked. The situation is why you should not go white knighting for people you don't really know without all facts. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I agree. If you see bullying happening or whatever, I, I can see just like, hey, you know, I don't know what the issue is here or whatever, but this is going a little too far. Um, But yeah, beyond that, yeah, I completely agree. Gina Burger, dang it, I was way off. I threw off the chat with my amazing personality and being funny. I'll be quiet. Damn it, yeah. Okay, oh, here we go. I said, I'm offended at what AZ said about Real in his greasy couch on her last live. Then today on Instagram, she was talking about BX and his greasy couch. It's microaggressive. I, I haven't heard what she said, but yeah, I, you could be right. Um, I don't, I, I would, I would prefer to hear it before I, you know, kind of formed an opinion, but yeah, you could be right. Apologize for being a bitch by keeping it over. Okay, that's what it said to me. I'm not going to read that. What live stream is it where LMN was talking? Um, it was on. Oh, what, I I I just call her K Baxter, but it's it's K something her channel. Um. Uh, shit. Let me. Pull. Okay. No, it says K Baxter. Okay. I thought she had a different, I thought her channel was called something else. Hmm. 
let me just pull up the tab real quick. Yeah, Kay Baxter, that's the name of the channel. Um, and it was, it was, it was the name of the stream. It was, if you hit videos on her channel, it's the, the most recent one, live stream panel on all the craziness without a crystal ball, Nat, dot, dot, dot. So there, here I can, I'll put a link up because uh, I think people should kind of watch it, listen to it because I do think it's interesting, but here you go. So if anyone wants to watch it, here's Kay's stream. There you go. All right, did I miss anything here? I hope that you are keeping any streams that are actually defaming you. Um, I mean, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go after anyone, really. I don't think I'm, I'm anywhere near a big enough channel to really even develop damages at this point. So, <laughs> John, I'm not gonna repeat that, but uh, it's funny. <laughs> No, oh, Steve, yeah. Here is a simple solution. If everyone just stopped doing stupid shit and involving themselves directly and in real life with things that don't concern them, nor are privy to all the facts. See, simple? So simple, I know. <laughs> yeah, I got Jenna Sweetie. That the yeah, the whole couch is coming does sound like it. it it's wrong. Again, though, I want to hear it before I really make an opinion. All right, am I missing any others? That's a couch one. Yeah, oh yeah, if you hear me say LMN at all or other people type it, it's it's a little misnomer. Just want to put that out there. All right. Oh, here we go. Real question. You prefer McDonald's fries or Arby's curly fries? Oh, McDonald's. McDonald's fries. I don't really like Arby's curly fries. You know who used to have the best fries, though? Burger King, like years ago, before they went and changed them. But now they kind of suck can translate while I provide simple solutions. Or EKC can translate while I provide simple solutions. We can freaking take over. I mean, change the world. Insert evil life here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyone putting out potential docs info or trying to throw out random docs info should stop now. Yes, and if that's the case, if, if people are doing that, Nikki, feel free to hide those comments. Um, I don't want people being doxed here, absolutely not. So um, yeah, just let's not do that, guys. I mean, if you want someone's, um identity put out there don't don't do it don't use my channel get it out there you know do it do it on your own shit you know take take ownership of it i think it is a double-edged sword if you share your opinion and others don't like it they come at you but they come at you when you do speak for yourself then you get called aggressive right and the thing is I get that my opinion is not always going to match with others or be agreeable with others and vice versa, you know, um, and you can disagree with me. You can even come to me or whatever, have a discussion if you want. Um, I, I will absolutely take the time and discuss it with you. The only thing that I will end up getting, not upset about, but I will end up addressing, I guess, is if is if in stating your opinion, you you say things that are just wrong or, in, you know, factually incorrect. And I, I will just want to correct it, you know? That's all. I think that's all. Whataburger has great fries in Chick-fil-A. Them, their waffle fries are on point. We don't have a Chick-fil-A here, and we haven't had a Whataburger here, whatever it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll be honest. Um, in like forever. I want to say... I think we had one here in the area when I was like 12, but not since then. I got opinions too, shaking my damn head. 
people can have differences and not like each other without throwing shade. People need to be okay with that too. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like someone asked me earlier, like, as far as me hating Charlotte, I don't hate her. Um, if I don't like her as much as other people, you know, that's, I don't, why is that not okay? She doesn't have to like me. She can come out and say, I don't like her. Cool. Okay. You know, anyone, any, you guys can sit here and chat right now and even comment, I don't like Eric. And cool. You know, not everyone's going to like me. <laughs> I'm not going to like everyone. It's not a big deal. You can see, I think I missed something. I always enjoyed Reagan's videos, but she hasn't posted anything in a while. Why are people talking about Reagan? Um, I think, I think she might have put her videos back up on her channel. I think. I'm not positive. I could be wrong, but she did take them down for a while and she hasn't posted anything in a, in a while. You're right. Um, she hadn't posted anything in a while though, before the shit went down in February. Um, but people are talking about Reagan still because in February, when there, Charlotte had done a stream and, you know, some people didn't agree with the stream. And again, I don't agree with what Reagan did. And I think even Reagan kind of regrets having done it. I don't know for sure, but I, I think she had, she does. But what she had posted was, um, she put a tweet up saying something about Charlotte, something from her past, a charge or whatever she had, a, um, a legal charge, whatever she had in her past. And that's it. So people, you know, are just, people are still very upset about it. Raising canes. <laughs> okay. So there's Grace Case True Story and Canes is pretty yummy. I like me some good hash browns. Oh, how the tide has turned to food and now I'm freaking hungry. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I know it, one of the reasons why I was late, because like I said, you know, the storm came and everything and I had pizza here and I Wanted to eat it really bad before he started. Because I was hungry. Aaron who? What? What? I think... I'm about caught up here. I bet the pineapple pizza eater love dipping fries in milkshake. So weird. I'll eat them like that. Yeah. I mean, I I don't usually. It's like not like I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite things, but yeah, I'll definitely eat them like that. Little Caesars or Sam's Club. We mean more Sam's Club. Like, do you mean Sam's Club, like the, the Walmart store? Like, generic stuff? I don't know what you mean. But I do like Little Caesars. It's like, it, they're like one of my favorite pizzas, actually. Which is weird, because like, where I live in Utica, like, pizza's like a big freaking deal here. And, uh, like, we have awesome pizza here. You know, like, everyone everyone loves the pizza here, but I kind of like Little Caesars. I don't, I don't know. Of course, it has to be dipped in ranch sauce. Like, all pizza has to be dipped in ranch sauce. And apparently, I'm not, like, American, I guess, when I eat my pizza, because I eat it with a knife and a fork. <laughs> you get pineapple pizza, so give us a mukbang. Really? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would, would really want to do one of those. Like, I know that they're not a sexual thing, but they just seem kind of sexual to me. I don't know. Like, the way people are about them, it seems like they like them in that kind of way. I don't know. It's weird. Kay just posted on Twitter that Katie did cancel live. Oh, I thought she, I thought they happened a while ago. Because, like, I heard about that. Um, I heard that it was canceled, like, I don't know, like, hours ago, I think. Um. Which I, I don't blame Katie for canceling it. I mean, I think I would have too if I were in her shoes or not have like agreed to it to begin with. But 
<clears throat> in my opinion, what Reagan did to Charlotte was effed up, and there's no excuse for it. She threw a childish tantrum for being muted in drama YouTube chat and went real life. No excuses. For... Um, yeah, I don't agree with it. Absolutely not. And I think that she did do it from a, a place of being angry. Um, I don't think it was just about being muted, though. I think she was also kind of angry because, um, like, they had been Charlotte's second, I think this was after, no, second or third stream. But, like, Charlotte had done a stream, like, in the beginning of February, like, the first week of February or something. And that's, I guess, when Charlotte got, like, a lot of her answers. And then she took down the stream. And then just a few weeks later, she's doing it all over again. And I think that that's a big part of why Reagan was upset. Um, I think the whole muting or whatever on top of that didn't help matters. Um, but yeah. She posted Charlotte's criminal record, essentially doxing her because was time Reagan was timed out in Charlotte's stream. She threw a tantrum and posted the criminal record of backfired on. Yeah, it definitely did backfire on her. Yeah, yeah. I can 100 percent agree with that. Um like I said just said though, I don't think it was just about being muted. I think just in, judging by like her posts and everything that I read at the time, her tweets, um it wasn't it, maybe being muted did didn't help matters, but I think the the big part of it was the whole doing the stream again and kind of, you know, whatever. I think that was what she was mostly upset about. At least that's what it looks like from her tweets. Um, but she didn't post all of her criminal record. I mean, I don't know if there's more of a criminal record, but she posted an arrest, which is part of her criminal record, if not all of it. Well, KJ is live on Insta tearing apart. Of course, yeah. I don't know why she's going after Truth Sleuth. I mean, see, here's the thing, and this is this is what's kind of annoying me. Whoever it is that is doing this, here's how you're hurting shit that pisses me off. Because Katie's now going to use this as the go-to excuse for any kind of criticism she gets from anyone regarding anything she's done in the past. And to my knowledge, the anything fishy going on like that's been going on has been going on since, what, since like January? So anything that's that's been questioned about Katie or any videos or any bullshit or whatever that's gone on before January is getting roped into this. And this is what I am kind of bummed about because... um. A lot of the criticism myself and others have given is not inaccurate. Um, of course, Katie's not going to agree with it, which I expect that, but it's not inaccurate. Like, not, we can't all be wrong, okay? Um, but now I feel like all of that's tainted because of the shit that's been going on the past few months. You know, you just, you pretty much validated her and you invalidated anyone who questions her. This is this is what the what the outcome is going to be. This is why it's bullshit. So yeah, and True Sleuth is going to be one of the people to take a hit. When, she, when, when real in reality, I think her and um, oh, where's the house? Yeah, I, th I think it's on Daily Mass, the other channel. I think I'm thinking of like they're two of the channels who two channels who do the most thorough in accurate research regarding anything involving Katie that I have come across. And it sucks that channels like Truth Sleuth and possibly Unveil and Mass, anyone else, they're going to get, they're going to get, they're going to catch shit for it because they're roped in with the rest of us or whatever. And, and we're all roped in with this shit going on with the court case and, and we're stemming over from that. And that's bullshit because I don't know, maybe some of us channels, we deserve it, but those two channels don't deserve it because like I said, those two are the most, two of the most accurate and thorough channels that I know of on YouTube revolving around Katie. So you said taint again, and I totally giggled. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Wait, what do I got here? 
You are talking drama and opinions. I don't, huh? Oh, what do you mean I'm talking drama and opinions? Yep, it is basically a get out of responsibility card as she can point to one or two things and everyone ignores the, yep, exactly, all the other problematic actions. Absolutely. Um, Failing the mass homemade range. I want to say that they, I'm almost positive this to channel. Wait a minute. Playlist. All right, maybe it's not the channel thing. Oh, shit, what's the channel I'm thinking of? Oh, I know. I think I got one of their playlists saved. Oh, wait, this one's going to be Steve's playlist, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, here we go. Mysterious tea. I mean, not that unveiling the masks is, is bad. Don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm going to put them in there, too, was one of the three. But the one I was thinking of, though, was Mysterious tea. Um, so, yeah, Mysterious Tea, Truth Sleuth, and Unveiling the Mask. Like, these three channels are, like, the most thorough and the most accurate when it comes to research and discussing all things skating. And they, they are going to take a hit, just like everyone else. And like I said, maybe we deserve it. I don't know. But these three don't deserve it. And that sucks because they're going to take a hit. All because some other people wanted to fuck around. So, just saying. But, yes, Mysterious Tea. I can't believe I forgot that one. I, I apologize. I just remember once she, uh, <laughs> mysteriously, she complimented like my research skills once. I was like, oh, are you freaking kidding me? I'm like, you, what? No, I <laughs> know. Like you are freaking awesome. I shit. <laughs> I hear you. In my opinion, Raken has all of Charlotte's contact info, including her address. Raken should have contacted Charlotte privately and expressed her feelings. Raken publicly flex bad look. Yeah. I mean, I agree. It, Raken should have contacted her privately, maybe, I, whatever. But, yeah, it, absolutely. It, it, her posting what she posted was was wrong. Now, I still know what you're talking drama and opinions. Who is that? I can't remember who does that channel. Now. Oh, is that... Does, is that True Sleuth? No, that's not True Sleuth. has her own channel. Right? Pretty sure. Yeah, I know she does. I don't, I'm not sure who Drama and Opinions is. I can't, I can't picture it. I can't, I don't, I have to listen. I know people's voice really. I don't even know what they look like. What do you think True Sleuth meant? When she said the tea community is more toxic than KJ. I think she meant that some people in the tea community or I think she meant the drama here can be more toxic or um and or um um yeah, I think it's really just that. That and I think sometimes some people and maybe I've been included in this, I, I don't know. But I think sometimes maybe people just, they're more reluctant to see the truth if the truth in any way benefits the Katie or, or whatever. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, there were times where, you know, I wasn't happy about it maybe, you know, or whatever, but I definitely wasn't about to ignore it or act like it was something other than what it was. Um, but I think maybe some people do take that a little further than they should sometimes. Um, nobody in particular, just maybe there are a few times in, in the past where I was just like, eh, you know, it's you're kind of pushing the limits there, I think. But, you know, that's it. Mag, thank you. Thank you. That's who drive my opinion is. Thank you, Sally. Again, like, you know, it, it's the voices because a lot of these videos and or channels I will listen while I'm doing other shit. 
you know, so I'm not sitting there watching the screen or I'll listen like as I'm going to sleep or whatever. So I know the voices. I don't really know the names or the faces or whatever. I can say without question, Tina unveiling EKC without a crystal ball commentary and myself always try to have the absolute facts. Facts. Bad faith actors make everyone look bad, especially us. Exactly. You know, you're right. And like there was something I learned well. Um well, like monitoring and documenting the, the anti-vax community on Facebook, because like if anyone posted anything that helped manufactured any comments or posts from anti-vaxxers, then I felt like it was disingenuous and it set, it created a false narrative, I guess. So it, that's why it's important to keep things factual, not because um, it, not even necessarily because of a place of integrity, though it should be, but if for no other reason, it's important to keep things back to it because doing, doing anything different can only end up helping the, the other side, I guess. Um, because as we're seeing with Katie, I mean, things that we are now being set up to where she can actually legitimately claim victim and she can actually legitimately claim that people are against her or whatever, or, you know, and nothing's her fault. I mean, like it or not, she, like someone put, like, I think it was one of my moderators who said in the comments, she now has a, like, not my response or a, like, get out of responsibility card now. And that's the truth, really. That's, that is the outcome of all this shit. And that sucks, you know, especially if for anyone, she might end up, you know, hurting in the future, whether it's, whether it's another source that she doxes or exposes DMs about or whatever. Like, I mean, or if she gets involved with another creator and, you know, people like they have in the past say, you know, listen, you know, just you might want to look into this person before you get involved with her, blah, blah, blah. Well, now when people go to look into her after people message her, they're going to see this shit. And they're going to think that it's all anyone, you know, talking about her is full of shit. And then they may get involved with her. And then they're going to learn the hard way that people weren't necessarily full of shit. And it's, that's going to be the outcome. It, you know, it's, that ain't right, but it is, it's going to be the outcome. KJ is just trying to get people to listen to her. And she is so awesome. She loves her community, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> word, Susan. Word. <laughs> That's kind of right. Sorry, not sorry, but Nat need to be out of this completely if we're not allowed to question if she's lying. I like helping, but too many people have been hurt by protecting. Nobody's protecting her. I mean, I'm not protecting her. I, I Maybe that makes me a bitch. I don't know. But I mean, I, I don't. It's not my concern. Um. That never really was my concern. And I think that might make me a bitch. I don't know. But my concern is, you know, just causing issues with now in an active federal investigation. My concern before was there was an active lawsuit going on. I mean, if you have concerns, whatever, I, I fully support anyone who wants to bring their concerns to the authorities or to the people involved. Absolutely. You have concerns, then yeah. I, I support you doing that a thousand percent. Um, it's just, I feel like we're stepping way outside of our lane here when live streams are done and gossip is spread or opinions are spread or speculation is made because none of us are read into anything and none of us have any kind of expertise or professionalism in this kind of area involved to be speaking on things. So that's been my whole concern. You know, maybe I should be more concerned about the person involved, but I'm I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pray for me, blue looks good on you. Thank you, baby Regina. Whoa, what's this? Proof you gave false information about 
LAB. Everyone knows you know where you can shove your proof. I have no idea what that's talking about. Is that even directed at me? I don't know. But, uh, okay, I'm guessing it's not directed at me. Who's LAP? Reagan's friends can feel and say what they want. But me personally, if any of my friends had done that to another person, I would disassociate from them. But that is just me. Um, I'll be honest with you. Like when all that shit went down, I would not have called Reagan a friend of mine. Um, like she had me blocked on Twitter for like a while. Um, that being said, like I was aware of Reagan and I was aware of her, her involvement in this community. And out of all the things that I know that she had done in this community, like that's the one, the one bad thing that I knew of. And it, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. I grant that. Um, but I just, I can't write someone off because they do one bad thing. Because if everyone wrote me off for doing one bad thing, oh my God, <laughs> you know, and I'll still, I'm going to still do some bad things. You know, I'm not dead yet. So um, so I, yeah, I just, I can't disassociate for that. I mean, if she, if to this day, she was like, completely like up in arms defending what she did or whatever. And, you know, if she was not open to seeing that maybe she was wrong, then or maybe, you know, maybe I'd have more of an issue with it, but I don't think that that's the case. I think that she regrets what she did. So, I mean, I, Again, it's not my place to forgive her, though, really, because it's, you know, wasn't done to me. Um, but I just, I, I mean, if other people want to disassociate from her, that's your choice. You know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to, not going to say otherwise, whatever. But I just, it's not, I don't think, think it's right for me. I mean, since they happened, like she and I have talked a few times or whatever, and that's it. So... But I mean, again, you cannot agree. That's cool. I want to know what's going on with that, though. Lorian. Oh, oh, okay. Um, that was who Ellie. Oh wait, no, Leslie and Bass. I I don't know. Steve says Leslie and Bass. Anika says Lori and Bernhardt. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who it's about. That is a weird name though. What happened to, if anyone says anything about Nat, I will smut you. Don't dare ask questions. I don't know what you're talking about. Again, I don't, I didn't care if anyone like, had questions about Nat. Again, it was just the live stream. And like anyone who received emails throughout this, like it or not, you were kind of involved. I mean, I was for a brief time there as well because you received emails because whoever it is that was fucking around behind the scenes had chose to involve you. So if you then take it upon yourself to, I don't know, to to lay down your your speculation or whatever to you know cause speculation or whatever then you are in you are you are affecting or getting trying to affect an active lawsuit or investigation now that was my concern that was my concern then that's never changed so i mean it wasn't i didn't care if anyone had questions about matt you know whatever just doing it on a live stream like that i just didn't agree with Whoa, wait a minute. I didn't ban without it. Is, is without a jelly donut ban? 
If she comes out and says she regrets, then maybe. But it is just something I would never do to anyone out of anger. I, okay, I agree. We agree to disagree as adults. Oh, I like your life so much. Thank you. Again, I'm just happy you're here whenever you're here watching. I'm just happy you're here. <laughs> Uh, let me check my the list here. Is Reagan a case of the enemy of your enemy is your friend? No, no, she's not. Um, I've always, I don't know, I never had an issue with Reagan. I mean, I, I've never disliked her. I mean, with, like, even when she blocked me or whatever, like, I, I get, I, I know why she did or whatever, um, you know, I don't hold any grudges against it, though I didn't then, and I still don't. I mean, whatever. But enemy of your enemies. I don't think I have any enemies, enemies, friends, or whatever. I don't think. So I'll discuss the LB's declaration. You know, the one where she apologized to me and get that one thing. So, okay. I still don't know. I'm still... Oh, Lorian Barhart. So, okay, so it's not Leslie, it's Lorian Barhart. Okay. Glad that was cleared up. And proof you gave false information about LEB. Oh, you're talking to unveiling. Okay. I think, yeah, that information was proven to be false, but I don't I don't think anyone gave that information knowingly, knowing it was false at the time. I mean, it'd be kind of fucked up if they did. And I don't think they did. Maybe wait until after the live to analyze that. Okay. Sounds good. So, okay. So I guess you guys are just talking to Steve about that. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Let, let me check the my uh, list here. Whatever. Is it community? All right, so I'm going to unblock without a jelly donut because, like I said earlier, I want this chat to people to be free to talk and all that nonsense. Um, in the future, though, if if my if something goes down between you and my not, not I don't mean you jelly donut, I mean you in the general sense, not just you in the specific sense, but this goes for everyone. If something goes on goes down between you and the mods. It, it, the Full discretion is up to the mods. Tonight's the only night I'm asking them to please don't do that. <laughs> so oh should I shoot? Uh -oh. I'm looking at the mod chat now, guys. I'm really interesting, interested though in uh, that there. I'm going to put a like on it so you all know what I'm talking about. Is that what the blue lipstick is about? Because somebody else wore it? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, that's crazy. Oh, okay. You're right, Sue. I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, Sue, Sue did tell me to unhide Jelly after the last chat there. So... But yeah, I just read that somebody else was wearing blue lipstick and now people think that's why I'm wearing it. When I was wearing it during my last entitlement video. I mean, was this person wearing the blue lipstick before the entitlement video? Or because 
if not, if they didn't wear it until after the entitlement video and now I'm wearing it now, I think it would stand to reason that maybe they were doing it with some other intent and not me. But, you know, but either way, I, even I don't think that that's why someone else might be wearing blue lipstick. It's blue lipstick. I mean, if I wore red, would I be, you know, doing it for a reason then? I mean, it's just a color. It's just lipstick. No, honestly, this was brought to the table in January. It was just so dang obvious. It seemed like you're, oh my God. I, I'm guessing you missed the whole beginning of the stream here because uh, again, really, which also to what stands out there if you comment, my hate for Charlotte Blinded. Did you even listen to my stream in February about this? Because in no way, shape or form did I express any hate to Charlotte. I didn't have any hate, nothing toward her. And I still don't have any hate towards her. The only thing I said in February was I didn't agree with her stream. And then I went on to say, I agreed with her as a person. I agree with her as a creator. I like her. I watch her shit. I enjoy her. YouTube is better for having her on it. Okay. I said all these things over and over and over again. So please tell me, where is that hateful? How is that hateful? So again, and I said this much back in February during my stream, I understand where people's reservations come from regarding Matt. Okay. I understand the reservations. The only thing I don't agree with was the live stream was bringing this up and talking about it during a live stream, especially from someone who wasn't involved and already had the answers to the questions they were seemingly trying to ask, but never came right out and asked. That was my whole issue. And again, that is my whole issue today. Only now, instead of an active lawsuit, it's an active federal investigation. That's it. So, again, I have no hate to Charlotte. I'm not blinded by anything. Thank you for calling me an intelligent woman. I do appreciate the compliment. Um, so, yeah, as far as it's, it was just so dang obvious. I'm not sure what was so obvious back then. There was, it was obvious that some things weren't adding up. Sure, I got that. But everything that's made obvious now or that's known today was not at all made obvious back in January because none of us could have predicted any of the shit that has happened over the past week back in January. So, yeah, there's that. Um, okay. They said the blue lipstick was you making fun of Josh Cox because he's gay. What? Because he's gay. Why is blue lipstick making fun of a gay man? Why would I be making fun of a gay man? I, uh, you know, it seems like some people are really wanting to exploit his gayism or his gayness or whatever just because they're blinded by their hate for me. I mean, I don't know what else to say there. That's what it looks like now because of my blue lipstick. People think I'm, what, homophobic? Or it just is it just Josh? I mean, I don't know. Thank you, though, Victoria, for telling me. I appreciate that. Um, it amazes me that there are 330 million peeps in just the U.S. alone, and someone is obsessed over your <laughs> over your lipstick because another creator wore it. Can't see this again. Though, when did he wear it? Because I didn't see this. Um, I I don't think I've really. I think I skimmed through one of his lives because someone told me that there was something in there, and even then, I was looking at the comments. I wasn't even listening to his live. Um, so I don't know. Whatever. Again, though, I ask, did he wear this before or after my last entitlement video? Because I'm kind of curious who wore it first here, okay? Not that it matters, but it's more of a defense possibly for my end. FYI, I just went to the same eyeglasses website, the Aaron Shops, at, and got the pink and blue glasses. I don't have blue lipstick, so I will cover my lips in blue eyeshadow and gloss. <laughs> Aaron's name for life. Thank you, Irish badass. <laughs> Um, okay, good. People see you donut now? All right, good. I don't see you donut, but I'm glad other people are. <laughs> Steve's fault. <laughs> because Ren baits Josh and you white knight for him thus the problem well then again people are just really stretching to want me to be the problem i guess i don't know and 
I don't think I white knight form. Um, like, I don't, I'm not defending any of the shit that he said or done, and I won't, but I also won't excuse any of the shit that's being said or done to him. That's all. And it's the people who I'm not excusing that have the problem with everything. I mean, like, if Ren and I have a discussion, like the times, the few times we have, and I told him my opinion on things, he has never, never accused me of, of anything other than giving him my opinion. Um, we've discussed it. He has been open to considering that maybe he, what he said or did was wrong or just wasn't very cool, or wasn't right, whatever the case may be. Um, and he's, some things he's even come to that realization on. But yet the other side has, I mentioned it to them and I've got a little bit different of a reaction, <laughs> I gotta say. So, I mean, not that anyone owes me any specific kind of reaction, but just saying here, um, it's kind of telling. If someone says this is making fun of Josh, it's because Ren has said things about him, but it's just stupid, totally. Yeah. He just wore it on Sunshinery on Friday night, but it's pointless. People trying to reach EKC in its turquoise, he wore not blue. <laughs> that matters. And thank you. It was on Friday night. So it was what, a few nights ago? My entitlement video came out. I don't even remember. June 25th. I don't even know what day of the week that was. So it's three days ago. It was on Friday. What time did I release it though? I think I released it early. I don't remember. I know I wanted to release it early, but I think, no, that thumbnail I actually made pretty quick, so it wasn't that. It was the, other, the last thumbnail I made for live that, I don't remember. I don't know. I'll think about it later. Uh, I enjoyed your recent middle-aged white women entitlement video, Mandy. Thank you, Mandy. Um, there might be more to come. <laughs> God knows they've been given a lot of material. No, there will be more to come. I just don't know how much more. <laughs> For the love of all that is good, nobody better wear pink, red, coral, green, purple, black lipstick because you will be copying someone. Actually, now, now that I think about it, I released the, my entitlement video on the 25th, which I believe was Friday. But if you watch the video and you see throughout the clips, like in the beginning, the, the background here, it's dark, okay, because it's nighttime or it's in the middle of the night, really. And then by the end, you see the sun come up. So actually, I started doing it like Thursday into Friday, and I had the blue lipstick on. So... I did not start wearing the blue lipstick because somebody else wore it. You know, it probably just coincidence that we both wore it at the same time. I mean, it happens. There's a lot of people in the country. I imagine more than one people person wears blue lipstick often. You need to get one of those grabby things that people have to reach for stuff that is so high up. Some people can use it to reach like they are. <laughs> I hope they stretched first. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of torn muscles. You know? <laughs> I'm just talking about the weird declaration, the fact that none of us had ever had ever even seen her that video of the Insta. They had all kinds of info, et cetera. That's why it felt obvious. Okay. I'm not talking about the weird declaration. Oh, okay. I, I, think I, I think I know what you're saying. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are, are still asking like you know where did she come from like people don't remember seeing her or whatever beforehand and uh you know that could be the case i think there's a lot of people i mean there a lot of people follow katie let's be honest and 
no, we're not going to know all of them. There, there's no way. So I think it's not, it's not unconceivable that um, someone came along and we didn't know them. So, but I, hey, anything's possible. I don't know. Aaron, are they making you upset? I really hope not. No, they're not. I mean, the thing that's making me upset, I mean, it's not the lipstick stuff or whatever. I think it's kind of funny. But the thing that's making me upset is what I said earlier. Like, whoever it is that's behind this shit and whoever it is that is um, pretty much making, like, accusing Katie of all these things and starting lies and, and everything and making false reports and stuff like that, that's what's making me upset because... Like I said, you are giving her exactly what she wants. You're making her the victim. You're giving her a card for her to use that says, listen, you know, I'm not this bad person. I didn't do anything wrong. This is just the people who don't like me because that's kind of how it looks now, you know, and that might even be how it is in this situation for these people. That's not the case for everything, not by a long shot, but that does, that's not going to matter now. It, it's tainted. Like it, I know I said it again, but yeah, it, anything that we, any of us have questioned or brought to light sincerely is now tainted because of this shit. Your avatar has blue lipstick too, I think. Yeah, it, that was up before last Friday. I took that a while ago, actually. I think I still have the picture on my phone. I think. Uh, nope, I guess not. I guess I deleted it. Damn it. Yeah, because I ran out of space and shit on my phone, so I got rid of a bunch of shit. When did I change that? I put the avatar picture up. It was on somebody's stream when I did it, or I was going on somebody's stream. I don't remember. I don't know. So it's never should have asked the general public to give declarations that invites all kinds of crazy. I possibly, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, cause I don't know all that went down there. I don't know what kind of vetting was done. I mean, I mean, he, he does have a duty. He does have to, you know, vet in, information to a certain degree and everything. So, but I don't know. I mean, he's still like last I've seen, there was a, he put us, put a comment up or whatever. What was it? Let me look at it now. Because I think all right. Okay, um. Yeah, on the 26th, I don't know why that was today, you put a tweet up. No, I'm correcting misinformation on social media, so a false record is not created. Nat has not confessed to being the hacker. In fact, she expressly denied it. We continue to seek the truth. We received information that others have claimed to have hacked my accounts. So, that was the 26th, but say 28th, it is. So, that was Saturday. So, I mean... And I know that he, there was also a tweet that went up before then um, that said that they still believed her to be a victim of some sort or whatever. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to speculate on anything because I just don't know. And out of all the shit that I've probably seen or witnessed, legally speaking, this is just crazy. And I don't even know what to make of it in, in my own head. Um, I do kind of agree with this kind of comment, though. I'm not sure what, well, I mean, I agree with the face value context. I'm not sure of the entire context, but, oh, now I'm included in this total speculation. LEB changed her story so much, even LB had to apologize for that interview. 
have a nice night, ladies. Good luck with your out of context proof or whatever that means. But I mean, Laurie Ann Barhart did change her story a lot. So just, I mean, I, she did not present at the end. She just not present at all, in my opinion, to someone who, whose word or statement should be trusted, let alone repeated. I don't know. If, if Victoria, that's a very good point. People should understand you do not need to add to KJ's stories of bad behavior. Thus far, she has managed to do everything all by herself, in my opinion. Tell him to suck it, Aaron. Come back with something better than her color lipstick. <laughs> EKC, do you think you contributed to KJ's murder done with the R report? That was KJ's most grandiose victim to her yet. Well, sure it was because she we did she had to do everything she could to deflect from the truth of what happened because and again i <clears throat> when kj made all the and i think people forget about the accusations she made because katie took down all the videos and took down much of the tweets and the instagram posts or whatever um i i think maybe i should remind people for some things um i'm not going to post everything though but um she accused an officer, 13 years after the fact, she accused an officer of um, calling her a liar, refusing to investigate, of saying that she was just a jealous ex-girlfriend, um, and a, a quote unquote berating her for about two hours to the point of tears. That's why, that's what bothered me. So I wanted to learn the facts of what this officer, if there's any chance that that could be true. I mean, and the only way really to determine that is to find out if the officer did investigate, if he took proper steps to investigate, etc. And the only way to know that is to obtain the, the, the report that would state this information. Again, I did not fly to Minnesota. Okay, I submitted a Freedom of Information Act request and it was granted. So when I got through and I didn't even get all of it and I didn't care to get all of it either because there's some shit in there I didn't I wasn't questioning. I didn't care to even know about the only bit of information I got that Katie had it already released all on her own in three live streams and several tweets and whatnot was lab results about liquid in, in beer cans. That's it. Um, but beyond that, it's the officer took note of all the steps he did to investigate and et cetera and whatever and his thoughts on it, the, you know, supplemental reports and everything. So, yeah, that's why I wanted it. And seeing that, I came to the determination that, yeah, he did his job. And I stated as much. But, of course, after the live stream that Ren and I did, Katie, Katie then filed a complaint against this officer with the department. Now, Katie in her live streams also said that the, her interview with the officer back in 2007 was recorded. So when Katie made this report to the police department and they then investigated this detective, they looked at the evidence including the recording of the interview they found her claims to be unfounded which means they looked at the evidence recording included and found that the shit katie was saying did not apply it was not accurate it was not true so that means that katie lied about the officer she lied about this officer and potentially ruined his his reputation or tried to anyways um also tried to erode any trust that this community had in their police detective and the department and she did this 13 years after the fact and why Okay, I don't know why, but she did. And that was my problem, especially since after this, it's not like the officer could really go online and defend himself or say anything. And it's not like the police department's going to really call any attention to it because in their eyes, legally, she's a victim and they can't. And that's the way it should be, mind you. Okay, because I still think something happened to her that night. And I do think she was a victim and I'm not questioning that. So I agree that this these people involved here, the professionals should not be putting any kind of negative attention like that on the victim. But at least by me doing what I did, I can at least come out and put uh, a, a, put put out a statement, whatever, I don't know, put out an opinion, whatever you want to call it, that contradicts the shit that she said that the department determined to be unfounded. That I think is important because the shit wasn't true. So yeah, of course she's going to act like the she's the biggest victim in the world because anything, because the truth, 
it, the actual shit that happened shows that she lied about a police officer. And I, I mean, especially when it comes to this kind of crime and trying to attack the trust that the community would have and, and their law enforcement officials regarding this. I mean, that's pretty damaging to any present and future victims. So, right. And I wasn't paying attention to chat there for a couple of minutes. Hmm. I don't know. I think I need you to repeat yourself a few more times. It's not making sense. I know, right? I'm glad you can see got the re police report to see if the officer detective who was falsely accused was vindicated. That was awful. That was awful. KJ falsely accused him. Ex thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just admit you flew to Minnesota to buy a hot pocket and call it a day. <laughs> we know you like a cupcake too. Don't lie. Oh. I did not go to Minnesota. Not for a hot pocket. Maybe for a cupcake. <laughs> Friendly reminder, Aaron has given you all a free ride tonight, but please try to keep it somewhat classy and perhaps choose to scroll and roll instead of being nasty. Word, Nikki, word. I'm being harassed by disgruntled hot pockets. Do you have any kind of video where she falsely accused the officer? I think posting would help. No, I don't. I don't. Um, any recording would contain sensitive information, so um, they weren't going to release that. However, and I've said this before, Katie can request successfully request that information. They will release it to her because you know she's the victim involved here. She's about the only person they will release it to, and I'm not suggesting she should get it and play it or anything like that, but. If she wanted to prove that she wasn't lying, if she's not lying, she could request it and just even play just like a sentence of, of like this officer berating her or whatever. That's it. You know, I think that would really speak a lot for her case, you know, if her case were accurate. But yeah, this, I don't think that's going to happen. So. Not like a whole family was tarnished at the same time. Yeah, I, the family didn't deserve that. I mean, whether or not the person she accused deserved that, deserved that, I, I don't know. I mean, if there's any chance or whatever that he did do the thing she said, then <laughs> I don't feel bad for him. Um, but yeah, the family didn't deserve that. Exactly. She completely incriminated the cops. He tried to... She tried to ruin that guy's life, doxing him all over. She even slipped up and said, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. There's, there was another live stream she did. I was, uh, I think it was right after um, the case was dismissed from Washington, where she talked about this in this stream. And something she said about the live stream, Red and I did that she can't remember how she worded it but it sounded pretty bad for her i'm just saying the way she worded it like she was admitting to she, i don't know like admitting to like lying about the cops that's what i'm talking about <laughs> i know the sock puppet thing drives me nuts too If EKC did fly here for a hot pocket, then I had many questions. First of all, why didn't you let me know? Because I didn't want to share the hot pocket. <laughs> EKC, don't forget, Dax, his partner, stated he lives on her street, which could put him in danger. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I mean, just... The way she went after the whole department, even, you know, and and even if what she said about the officer were true, which it's not, but if, even if it were true, that was in 2007. So for her to say this shit now, I mean, it's, 
I don't know. I just, it seems very, very irresponsible and potentially negligent. Thank you for asking my question earlier, EKC. You're welcome. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, no. Emiloni, what happened to your fur baby? Did I miss something? I hope nothing bad. I hope nothing too bad. It sounds like it was bad, but I hope nothing too bad. I'm not seeing anything. I was going to slander my friend with the blue nails. Right. Next, blue nail polish on. Is it wrong? Very much for baby. Now that names are known, I believe the walls will start crumbling down really soon. Finally, the truth. I hope so. All right. I just did a search to see all your comments. I can see about. See if I missed anything about your fur baby. I hope nothing too bad happened. Never said I wanted to share it, Ellen. I just need to gather evidence for photos or it didn't happen. It, it's like Jisper is behind everything with the hot pockets, isn't she? I'll be honest, when I first heard about you getting the essay report, I was disgusted, but then I decided to watch a stream later to decide for myself. My disgust turned from you guys, or your disgust turned from you guys to KJ. Thank you. And, and and I get it. I get that it sounds bad. I get it. And I even, and I, I get and I understand if even when people hear the facts of the case, facts of the matter, they still disagree or don't like it. I, I get that. I, I, I'm not going to argue. Um, you know, just not everyone's going to look at shit the same way as I do. And I get that. The only thing that ever bothered me about that is if people just came to certain conclusions without bothering to learn the facts. That's my only complaint. So thank you for that, Diane. You never answer me. Why did you call Tazran's business 40 times? <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I know your, your joke. I, it, Mrs. Cassandra asked that, so I know she's joking. <laughs> but I do allow some to see the evidence. EKC has seen things. Has she seen things? Oh, Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. I've seen some things, man. Can you expand on your connection interactions with Element? I feel like you lost over the top. Yes. I will. One second. Let me go grab more soda, though, because my mouth is like crazy dry. I'll be right back. Okay, just one second. Okay. Okay. Um, let me go back here. 
is it again so I can read it? Can you expand on your connection interactions with little Miss Noble? I'm um, sure. Um, let me pull up my messages here so I can just remind myself because she she reached out to me on March March seventh, and I never responded. In fact, her entire message thread to me on Twitter is still in my message request. I never even accepted it. So she reached out again March 9th and then April 5th. That was it. I never even responded. Other than that, where is it? Oh, and I sent I sent all this to 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 Salts, by the way, because why not? I mean, there, there's whatever. Other than that, there was a group chat thing um, that had three people in it. And um, Nat was one of them. I'm not going to say who the other person was, but no, it wasn't Dottie, because I know people are trying to blame her, but whatever. It wasn't Dottie. And I did not even talk in this group chat, did I? Yep, not one comment from me. Just double checking. In fact, there was only talk between two people and there was nothing even said in it. Like it, it just seemed, it sounded like to me that like from the very first time she messaged me, like she, like she was, she had an agenda maybe or a goal because like I got, I got several messages that all sounded like they were from the same people. And she was one of the people who sent me these messages. There were a few other accounts. And like I said, I send it all to, to Salts. Um, but it's just, I, it just, something just didn't sound right to me. So I never kind of, I never responded. And even in this, this group chat, I'm not even sure why it was made or whatever. I mean, I never even talked in it. It just, it's just there. And it was started in May. And the last, oh, it lasted one day. The group chat lasted one whole day. So. But yeah, that is the extent of any of my involvement. Or my connection, my interactions, whatever. Mm. Yes, yes, I can take down the slow mode a little bit. There we go. All right. If you need me to slow it down any more than that, just let me know. But I brought it down to a minute for now. I yeah. I thought maybe I did talk to her too, but I did. It turns out I didn't. I mean, I knew that there was a chat, a group chat thing there or whatever, and um, I knew that she had reached out to me. Um, Nat, I talked to a handful of times, um, but pretty much every one of our conversations would not happen like after the court case was dismissed. Because like I said, I didn't want to involve myself in, in anything while the court case was still going on because she had reached out to me. She wanted to like tell her story or whatever, and she wanted to do it on my channel. And there was no way in hell I was going to do that while the court case was still going on. There's just no way. Uh-uh. I thought maybe after it ends, I don't know, we'll see. But even then, after it ended, just, uh, just, I don't know. I just, I felt like that would have been a mistake for whatever reason. I couldn't really put my finger on it. Just, I didn't want to do it. So, LMN is Little Miss Noble. Um, also, too, I just want to remind everyone, um, I know this has been stated a few times throughout the stream so far, but, um, Okay. The mods I, are just for tonight only. They are they have been generous enough to to um, agree not to time anyone out or to um, block anyone or remove anyone for tonight only because I want people to be free to talk and um, if people are going to come in here or whatever and start even saying shitty things or running in their mouth, I it, I want there to remain a record of it. But um, with 
within reason, this, this is going to be the case anyways. So I just want to remind, and it is just for tonight only. After tonight, they, it goes right back to me and their chat and them doing whatever it is they feel they need to do. She does have a YouTube channel? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this, she did that video the other day. All right. I love having a locked account. I didn't get random accounts messaging me. I don't mind getting the messaging me. I just, I, I'm glad for like the whole message request thing or whatever, you know. Um. But like on Facebook, like I always forget to even check Facebook. It, Facebook doesn't really like make it obvious either that you have a request. Twitter does pretty good at making it obvious. Oh my God, no, Mrs. Cassandra, no, I will not. Oh shit, yeah, I just I read it though in my head, and it's gonna be in my head now. Damn it. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> we uh, when the whole COVID thing hit, and uh, um. I keep brushing my hair because it just it got wet earlier and I don't like how it feels. But um the whole COVID thing hit earlier in the year there and the whole washing hands things started. So on on our Facebook page, someone made um like a little video for a post and said, if you were if you don't know how long to wash your hands for, just sing this song and that's the song they put with it. And it stayed in my head for like so much last year. <laughs> Oh boy. Why does it say that? That's weird. What the hell? It's a little better. Okay. No, that's where you should. Huh. Alright. Oh, I know it's so freaking hot. So it's so fucking hot. I have COVID arm for my second shot. I missed for it, but didn't you say that you you had that the other night too? I I believe that that was you. I mean, it's still is it still bothering you? I mean, it's been a while now. They suggested Jolene where I am, and I still randomly sing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that, that, that shit can get stuck in your head, too. <laughs> Love in the first degree, really, Michelle G? Wow. Oh my god, I haven't heard that song in forever. Scrolling back to see if I missed anything, but I don't know. Chat starts kind of slowed down there, so I don't, don't think I did. And it's been two hours now, so I do think I'm going to wrap this up shortly. Since everyone seems like they're going to stop making videos on Katie, she's going to get even nastier. My opinion, they're scared she'll add them to us. I'm not going to stop. I mean, I I pretty much decided, like, to focus on other things, maybe, you know, as well. Or to maybe focus on her less, but I'm not going to stop. I mean, she still gets so much freaking content, you know I mean? Just saying. And how many times have we heard people say that said, I'm not going to cover Katie anymore. I'm not going to cover Katie anymore. And then like, you know, a week later or less, they're there. You know, I, it's, I think you see a lot of that. They, maybe for a short while or whatever, people will chill out or something, but it's not going to last. Yes, Diane Harlow. To all who have lost fur babies, I'm so sorry. I just lost mine too. And it sucks so hard. Big hugs. Oh. 
I'm sorry. It does suck. And I'm guessing, and Maloney, you lost one of your fur babies. I'm sorry. I was hoping that wasn't it. Damn it. The rant she went on about her husband's niece was another example of manipulation seeing as the interview happened 116 days before she spoke a word, Victoria, word. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah, I, I listened to her, um, a couple of her, like, Instagram lives or whatever, just today I did. And did I hear it? I, I kind of missed this, but then someone told me that this was the case. And so is this right? Did she not tell her husband about the accusations until at the same time she told everyone in a live stream? It was, is that true? And I, I couldn't believe, I was like, no, I, but you know, it's possible. Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I am, I, I am bored of her. I really am. That's kind of why it's just, ugh. um, of course, so I know that there is going to come a point and it's probably not going to be that far in the future or anything where just, it just gets so annoyed and, you know, and I'm probably gonna, for reasons that are cathartic, I'll probably, you know, do a video or talk about her or whatever. However, she's not the only one that is going to, that is causing me to seek those feelings of catharticness. So, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, wait, Victoria. How come when you make translator videos about Katie, they are fun parodies, but when it is someone else, your video is questionable? That's a good question. That's a really good question. I'm guessing because the ones who find it questionable are they they feel as though they are someone discussed in the video they they may be right but whether they're right or not they, you know they feel that way yeah i hear you though i hear you and even then you know like like it with the middle-aged white women i mean i i like to think i'm more or less poking fun at the behavior not the people or, or the person at least that's how i intend it anyways you know so oh but, I, but what made me laugh that's right <laughs> off topic when you have one straight hair that didn't make it in your ponytail that lands on your face and you think you just walked through a spider web thank god for my ninja skills <laughs> Oh, Heather, I will take this over the virus any day. Oh, well, I feel over this arm, though. You, I, you, I think I, I read that you said, yes, yeah, been over a week, but now I'm at, okay, all right, so that means you, you've seen someone, good. Yeah, because it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be hurting that long. At that point, I think you need medical intervention, so glad to hear it. <laughs> Yes, life is so much better when we laugh at, when we're able to laugh at ourselves. I agree, Lisa Nichols. I get that it's not always easy for us to do it, it all the time, but it is better when we learn, you know, not take ourselves so seriously. I don't think I know that song, Mrs. Cassandra. Some creators need to realize that your own personal drama is not the content you're supposed to want to see. If you focus on creating good content, you have no time for, for the BS. Exactly. It's, it's why even this with this live stream, I mean, it involved Katie. I mean, so I I feel like this, this is part of my content in a way. I mean, I'm not sitting here like bad-mouthing anyone. I'm not trying to rile anyone up against anyone or whatever, you know, and, and I don't want that. Um, I hope no one who sees or hears any of my streams ever feels like they should or I want them to or want or they want to ever dislike someone or go at someone or even unsubscribe from someone. Please don't ever do that because of something I said or did or or anything. 
um, because I don't want that. I want each person to watch who they want to watch, follow who they want to follow, enjoy YouTube, enjoy anyone you want on YouTube for any reason. You know, I'm just thrilled if someone, if anyone's here watching me for when they are here watching me, I'm just thrilled to have that. So I, I hope, I hope it's not taken any other way. People have way too much time on their hands drawing off the government is coming to an end. I have to go back to work and stop bothering these creators like he's a CKC. Oh, have to go back to work and okay. Find another hobby. Yeah. I mean, I get why the, the government was issuing checks and I, I'm glad they did. I mean that they definitely helped me out. Um I considered waiting until they ran out to go back to work. Um, like I'm laid off right now from work because it's the my, my main job, my original job, because it's like their dead season. So like they won't need me back again until fall. But um, I know that until September anyways, like the checks are still coming in, we could say. But I also thought, well, when they stop, then everyone's going to be out looking for a job again. So I think I should take advantage of this and apply to places that I really want to work, you know, that might might actually have to fight for a job any other time. But now I might not have to. So that's what I did. And I got the job. <laughs> you always focus on behavior. Some can't separate the person from their behavior. Good, good people do behave badly sometimes. Just saying, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I know I do. Completely off topic also. But did you watch the season finale of that show? Yes, I did. I, I mean, you mean Handmaid's Tale, right? I'm guessing. I think that's what you mean. Um, but yes, I did. It was it was episode 10, right? Where they took out that dude. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but. I caught the last of her live last night, and she said no one better put her Instagram videos on YouTube. She will report. I didn't think she could as long as they, they added they were. Oh no! As long as they added the, their their opinion or whatever, um, I mean, uh, if they put the video up and just the video up, and then they try to monetize it or whatever, I mean, she can strike it. She can try to strike anything she wants, and maybe you, you know, I think that any strike she's issued so far, I don't think anyone's fought her on. Um, I don't know if they fought her on this, if if it would be upheld or not. I. I don't think she, I don't think really it can go too far though. I mean, if, if no one's monetized the video, if no one's making money off of it, um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure that it's a violation, but it would definitely be a, a process. There would definitely be a process, I think. So um, if it's just her, the whole Instagram video, like there's no commentary, then, you know, it, I don't think it really falls under fair use, but I'm not sure that it, if no one's trying to make money off of it, I'm not sure it's something that could be like actually fall under copyright. I'm not sure though. I'm not positive, but it's been my understanding that if no one's trying to monetize off of it, then, you know, then I don't know. If, if you try to make money off of it, then yeah, then it can be struck. Absolutely. Yeah, during the stay-at-home times and living alone, I found YouTube, and it has been my sanity most days. Word. Absolutely. You can say, I love when I see a video or a live from you pop up. You and this channel bring me so much entertainment laughter. Oh, thank you, Lisa. You have no idea how happy that makes me feel. <laughs> because, like, honestly, that's what this channel does for me, too. Just, I don't know. Like, this has helped me throughout this past year, like, a lot. Like, a lot more than I expected it to, but it's been, like, a lifeline, I think, at times. All right, let me go back here. Whenever life throws, whenever life throws obstacles, I just say to myself, it could be worse. I could have ice Poseidon's nose just to give you a scale if he looks up on a Sunday day 
It'll cause an eclipse. I don't know who that is, but okay. <laughs> I'm just seeing several people's behavior in live streams and comment sections over the past couple months. If I ever start a channel, it will have a several block the day it's created. Yeah. I hear ya. I only unsubscribe from people that I no longer want to engage with for my reasons, nothing else. Awesome. KJ, for example, I saw for myself what she was like and I unsubscribed. And that's the way it should be. That's absolutely the way it should be. Even see, wait, see you're even nice when I comment and show my meanness. Oh, well, congratulations, EKC and the job. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> and I, maybe I missed your meanness there. I don't know. <laughs> but I, whatever, it's all good. Can we start to agree that the same question asked in different ways needs to stop just because you don't like the answer? EKC has answered many questions repeatedly tonight, and it's annoying. Yeah, I agree, Kathy Ann. I do. Um, I, I, I tell myself, you know, maybe they weren't here though earlier in in the stream, and they didn't hear it. So, I mean, I'll I'll answer it again. Um, so, but yeah, I I think sometimes they were here. You know, just it is it's annoying, but. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank you, Karen. Yes, episode 10. And yes. Yes, I did see it. I did. I do. I watch that shit like um, Tuesday night into Wednesday at like 3 a.m., I think. Because <laughs> I can't wait until Wednesday morning. Screw that. I'm up at night and I'm like, I got to watch it. Outlander will still soon be on again. Oh my God. Spoiler alert. Dang. Just kidding. I watched. Oh my God. I need more. <laughs> good i'm glad I'm glad i didn't run it for you um all right so i'm gonna go through the chat here real quick and then i think i'm gonna call this i'm gonna call it an end because i'm going on close to three hours like 240. he had no clue yep he had no clue. oh okay yeah as long as there's commentary that that's okay under the fair use act yes it is I don't have to always agree with the creator, but I do love most of your streams. And when I don't, I just quietly pack my bags and leave. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I hear you. <laughs> Idiots are clearing the shelves of toilet paper. No, are you kidding? Why? Are you guys like not vaccinated or something down there? How, why is Australia in lockdown again? Oh, wait a minute. You guys have winter coming up, don't you? That's right. Maybe that's why. Where did it go? Where did they go? Damn it. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Personally, I prefer short takes of her videos pointing out problematic things. If I wanted to watch her whole live stream, I'd watch her. Yeah, I hear you. Like I, the channels that were uploading her Instagram lives, like I was very appreciative of that though, because Katie wasn't saving her lives, her Instagram lives at the time. So, I mean, that I think served a purpose, but um, yeah, other than that. And even then, like if people, like when I do a, a video or, or commentary or whatever, um, I don't show the whole thing. I, I think I did it in the very beginning, but then it, it just like, then I would be uploading like a two, three hour long video. And it just, I was like, no, nah, I can't do this. So I just only keep the clips that I, I want to discuss and everything else. I just let go. Oh, thank you, Michelle G. Oh my God. That's such a compliment. I absolutely love your channel. You're the only one I'm a member of. Oh, thank you. Gotta go get my dog to go potty before bed, so I'll see you around. Bye, Mama Bear One. Thanks for being here. My YouTube goal is to get a million play button with zero content on my channel. Only 999,860 subs. Way. I'll go stop. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. 
Sorry if you had already answered. I was like, it's okay. Like I said, I, I said, you know, my answer that I think some people maybe didn't hear the answer. It's cool. You mean you weren't here from the very beginning? How dare you? <laughs> Thank you for this live, Aaron. It was good. And people said their piece. Night, y'all. Good night, Heather. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Always enjoy watching you and your content. Hope everyone has a good night and tries to stay stay cool. It's so hot here in Bama. Dude, it's hot here in New York State too. Like it it got up like over 90 today. Which that may be nothing to Alabama. I don't know, but it's not nothing here. <laughs> good night, Victoria. Thank you for being here. I feel like such a grown up. I was awake for life and stayed the whole time and stayed awake. I feel so grown for 49. I also started early though tonight. <laughs> I did that on purpose because I knew like the show's gonna be disgusting. I didn't want to go on at you know midnight or whatever. I don't think they inject the vaccine down there. Ouch. Poor cooter speed as far. Well that's good. Because I, I don't think that's where you're supposed to put the vaccine. Good night, Emiloni. Thank you for being here. Is any other creator sharing her Instagram lives now? I don't know. Um, and be honest, if I did, I would never tell. <laughs> Seriously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything because I wouldn't want her to hear it. Whatever. Because like the people like who did I know if they were sharing it, weren't sharing it because they were trying to get money off of it or anything like that. That wasn't the, the whole point. Um, it was just for people to have access to it if they wanted access, you know? So, and since she put it out there in public on a, social media platform to begin with. I mean, she has a very limited expectation of it not being seen, you know? So. We in Canada are doing okay. And here in my province of British Columbia, we are doing a slow reopen or a slow reopen, slow the study. Wow, really? You're still working on a reopen? Oh. Good night. Oh, they, they lifted the masks. The mask mandate in Pennsylvania. Cool. We have zero cases of COVID here now. That is awesome, Karen. <laughs> I'm not vaccinated just yet. I don't want to walk by my fridge and imagine to take me. <laughs> oh, God. I have four followers on Instagram, three of whom I don't know, and I've never posted any content to it. I, I, I know people keep following me on Instagram, and I post like maybe once every two months. I just, I'm, I don't know. I, there's, there's so many freaking, so much social media shit right now. I just can't take on another platform. Hey, EKC, I've been here, so we might as well talk to each other. I sincere, honestly, I would, but I'm about to wrap this up because like I'm going on almost three hours now. Um, I'm kind of tired. So uh, maybe next time, okay? I I won't be live tomorrow night because I have to work. Um, I forget what my schedule is for the rest of the week, so I don't know. But I do want to get a video out, though, before I have to go to work tomorrow. But, yeah. I try Instagram, but I just can't. YouTube and TikTok. I'm like, yeah, I got to get more into TikTok, really. I started to, but then I just stopped. You can see I don't want to hear it. Hell well, it was 109 degrees at its highest today. It's just barely under 100 now. Thunderstorm rolling in, so it will be humid tomorrow. Yeah. We're the same exact issue, only we're about maybe 15 degrees cooler. So, yeah. I hear you. I, I, I know you guys get it worse than that. We do. I know. I don't know why I'm afraid to get the shot. It is so freaking, it's so freaking hot. I need to try to wear the mask. Most home improvement does not believe in good air conditioning. Oh, yeah. Because the store is probably so open as it is, you know. Probably like throwing money away. It's bullshit, but, you know. I'm going to watch replay because I missed most of this life. Cool. Thank you. Okay. All right. On that note, I am going to wrap it up. So thank you, everyone, for being here. And thank you. The whole chat tonight, everyone who was here for any part of the stream, the whole stream, whatever, because having the chat being wide open and everything, I think it went great. So thank you, everyone who participated. 
Thanks for listening and thank you for the questions. Thank you for watching. So, yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks again. <laughs>